The emergence of a new god of destruction, the strongest ever recorded, carries death and disaster in its wake. It appears out of nowhere, with no discernible pattern or reason for its atrocities. Countless worlds and innumerable demons have been reduced to nothingness by its sheer power. None can oppose this god of destruction. Nothing exists that it cannot destroy. However, no one yet knows that this god of destruction has already been defeated. Hey Cerberus, this is the place, right? Yep, no doubt about it. I can smell it in the air. This place reeks of concentrated magic power. <laughs> Are you serious? I can't imagine you'd be able to sniff anything out with that rotten nose of yours. Hey, you're rotten too, you know. Damn, there are guards at the gate. Guess they beefed up security with all the bigwigs at this darkest assembly. Aren't you gonna let us in? It's awfully rude to stop the guests of honor. You're wasting your breath, as bad as it is. We just gotta plow right through them! Forcing your way in, headlong into danger. You're as hot-blooded as ever. Huh, I don't even have blood, being a zombie and all. <laughs> These are the best they could get to guard the darkest assembly? They're nothing special. I think you've just gotten way too strong, so. But you know, you've really changed. Not that long ago, you we were all... <laughs> die, die, die! Or stupid dumbass, it's your own damn fault for losing! You really were a foul mouth, Huh? I've got no idea what you're talking about. My brain's so rotten, I already forgot. It's almost like you overcame some kind of life-changing tragedy. Can it, you damn mutt? Ever heard of not being an asshole? You should try it sometime. Ah, my mistake. Anyway, look! There it is. The Darkest Assembly. <sighs> is there still no information on the whereabouts of the new God of Destruction? It's been several days since it was last sighted. It's never been this long for destroying anything. Where did it go? What is it up to? Want me to tell you? Huh. Who do you think you are? Can't you see we're in the middle of the darkest assembly? My word! What in Hades' name are those worthless guards doing? Letting such a disheveled zombie wander in here. Oh, those guys are out like a light. Probably enjoying a good old nightmare right about now. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. As if the likes of you could ever take out those level 999 gun. What? All of the guards? Taken out? You... Just who or what are you exactly? That god of destruction you're so worried about? You can relax. I defeated it. What? You, a worthless zombie, defeated that god of destruction? <laughs> Do you really expect me to believe that some nobody like you could defeat the strongest one ever? Yeah, well, this nobody just defeated your level 999 guards. How do you explain that? You obviously had some sort of trick up your sleeve. Leave it to Rabble to resort to nefarious means. I, Overlord Ivar, along with the demons who have gathered at this darkest assembly, will expose your lies! 
Should it become evident that your claim of defeating the God of Destruction is a lie, you will immediately be put to death. You are going to execute me? <laughs> Quite a joke. How dare you! For a pathetic zombie, you're quite full of yourself. Right. I am just a zombie. And you're about to find out how this pathetic zombie managed to defeat the strongest god of destruction. So listen up. <laughs> Episode 1. The Dramaturgy of Reincarnation. Zed. Hey! How much longer are you planning on sleeping? Come on! Rise and shine, Zed! You're finally up, lucky you! I was about to take a leak on your face. No, scratch that, I feel a dump coming on. Ugh, that's disgusting, you damn dirty mutt! Can't you find a normal way to wake someone up? I already tried kicking you, gnawing on you, reheating you, even dicing and grating you, but nothing worked. Just what do you think I am? A rotten slab of meat. Takes one to know one. Whatever. So, where is that thing? Where else? In the middle of destroying stuff. Now this area is just a lawless zone full of rampaging demons. That's so? All right. Let's go take it down. Hold on, Zed. You're about to fight the strongest known god of destruction. You better get prepared first. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Hey, can you lend me a hand, dude? Not on your life. You didn't even hesitate, dude! Can't you at least hear me out first? What an annoying penguin. I don't give a crap about your problems. I'm not a penguin! I'm a pretty dude! So? What's a pretty want from me? Hmm, I guess it has something to do with all the demons that started rioting when the God of Destruction showed up. Th that's absolutely right, dude! <laughs> Same as always. Same as always? Uh, who exactly are you guys, dude? These guys... Right. Witnessing the God of Destruction's immense power drove these demons mad. Here we go again. I don't care who they are. If they stand in our way, I'll kill them! <laughs> Everyone who tries to stand in my way is gonna get beaten to a pulp! Y you're so strong! The zombies aren't supposed to be this powerful, dude! <laughs> What's the big deal? After all, compared to the God of Destruction, these guys are garbage. Um, you're falling apart at the seams. Are you sure you're okay, dude? Huh? Ah, don't sweat the small stuff. You definitely aren't normal, dude. <laughs> I'll kill anyone who gets in my way! I'm starting to get the feeling that Zed might be far more dangerous than the God of Destruction, dude. It may surprise you, seeing as how that brat is on a murderous rampage, but he used to be a weak, kind-hearted zombie. Seriously? I find that hard to believe, dude. It's true. However, after endless battles of extreme proportions, Zed's heart has changed. Zed, don't you think you've warmed up enough with all that fighting? <laughs> I'm a zombie. 
Our bodies don't get warm. But that was definitely good practice for the God of Destruction. Uh, hey, Zed. Are you seriously planning to fight the God of Destruction, dude? Mm, of course. That's the only reason I came to this netherworld. Have you lost your mind, dude? No matter how strong you may be, fighting that God of Destruction is insane! It's the strongest one in recorded history! It just shows up in every world and lays out total destruction, dude! Do you even know how many famous demon lords and overlords have challenged it? Only to be defeated, dude! Shut up! I'm gonna take it down! No matter what! Zed, aren't you afraid of dying, dude? Well, I am a zombie. Dying is pretty much what we do. This guy is no ordinary zombie. Maybe if I stick with him, I could get really strong too, dude! Um, dude! What? Please, let me be one of your vassals, dude! Not on your life. You didn't hesitate this time either! Come on, don't say that! Please, dude! We printies are really handy, you know! We can cook, clean, do the laundry, you can even make us run errands, dude! If you accept my offer right now, I'll even throw in a year's supply of premium expired sardines, dude! Why would I want something like that? Come on, Zed. Let the printy be your vassal. You'll do whatever it takes to defeat this god of destruction, right? Well, when it comes down to it, I'm sure you'll need the help of some companions, too. Fine, whatever. But, if you don't pull your weight, you're getting tossed. Ooh. Got it, dude! <laughs> Thanks a bunch, Zed! God of Destruction finally decided to show up. Hey, Pretty! Looks like you get to regret becoming my vassal already! been a long road, but our fight ends here, today. Here we go! The final battle! <laughs> ah! I knew this was impossible, dude! Go ahead and run if you want. But just so you know, Zed hasn't given up yet. Uh, these are just flesh wounds. They don't hurt a bit. Zed! Is he really gonna keep fighting, dude? How is he even standing with all those wounds, dude? Zed has his own reasons for fighting. That's why, even if he dies, He'll never give up. He does? Why would he push himself so far, dude? Look out! Move! Zed! You took that hit from me, dude! Don't get the wrong idea. This rotten body of mine just acted on its own. I can't afford to lose. I gotta get stronger. 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 Stronger! Just you wait, Biko. I sure as hell ain't giving up.
I see. So you fought the God of Destruction and suffered a crushing defeat. Wait a minute! You lost?! Hmm. Only you would have such a sharp eye for detail, Overlord Ivar. Yes, well, of course. Uh, wait a minute! You can't fool me with your compliments! You fought the strongest god of destruction head-on, risked your life for a prinny? This is nonsense. And to top it all off, you didn't even defeat the god of destruction! You wretched liar! I'm not lying. There's no use trying to get out of it. Your lies have been proven. I shall put you to death on this very spot. Huh? Wait a moment. You said you were killed by the God of Destruction. But then how are you alive right now? Huh. Looks like you finally realized. Ah, I see. Now I get it. This can only mean... You're a ghost, aren't you? <laughs> the big odd evil spirit! Rest in peace! Rest in peace! <sighs> Dumbass. Huh? That's not it? Then how, may I ask, are you still alive at this very moment? Overlord Ivar, it seems you may not be aware, but there exists a spell that can supersede even death. What did you say? A spell that supersedes death? Yeah, that's right. It's called Super Reincarnation. Previously on Disgaea 6. Super reincarnated Zed and company found themselves in a brand new world! The year was 666X, and the netherworld was shrouded in atomic flames. Remember kids, it's not cool to play with fire! The curtain rose for the battle between Zed, heir of the ultimate demon technique, and Ivar, overlord of the century's end. Didn't I just say it's not cool to play with fire? Shut up and get flamed! Stop that! Didn't anyone ever teach you it's rude to flamethrow people? Zed emerged from the heated battle victorious. He then lived happily ever after with his little sister, the end. I lived my life without a single regret. Uh, huh? Wait, did he even have a little sister? And not a single piece of Ivar remained. The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Get up, Zed. The super reincarnation process is almost finished. How many tens of thousands of times have we done this now? Damn, it seems like it's still not enough. Your opponent's the strongest god of destruction to ever exist. You can't expect to defeat it that easily. If you don't like super reincarnating, then get stronger and defeat it already. After that, you'll be done. <sighs> All right, I get it. <laughs> this world is pretty flashy. I never could have imagined a place like this growing up in the graveyard. Hmm, this appears to be the human world, but... Oh, hero! How could you have fallen like this? Huh? Who the hell are you? I am Mizador, king of the human world, and it's my duty to resurrect the hero whenever he or she falls in battle. Me? A hero? What the hell is this guy talking about? Hmm, I have heard rumors that the king of the human world has the special ability to resurrect heroes. Perhaps his ability resonated with your super reincarnation, bringing us to this world. That all sounds like gibberish to this rotten brain of mine. 
What are you mumbling about, O oh hero? There's no time for you to lie dead. You must defeat the God of Destruction. Defeat the God of Destruction, huh? I don't need you to tell me to do that. I'll fight it as many times as it takes. Wait! Where do you think you're going, O oh hero? Shut up! I ain't no hero, damn it! Episode 2 The King and the Hero. Oh, hero! I command you to wait! What is it now? And I told you, I'm not a hero! Nonsense! Please, listen to what I have to say. This world is currently imperiled by the God of Destruction. We must rely on your strength. Now, take this stick and 500 bucks, and set off on your journey to save the world! Do you seriously think you can defeat the God of Destruction with a stick and 500 bucks? Well, you're something else. No, <laughs> a stick and 500 bucks is way more than some zombie brat deserves. Don't waste your time with a chump like him. Come on, let's get going, Cerberus. W wait, oh hero. In that case, how about this? What the hell's that? Yo, <laughs> what everyone loves, stacks of bills. If you manage to take out the God of Destruction, it's yours, see? That's what I say, but they're all phony. As if I'd actually give my precious money to some zombie. Cut the crap, I'm not fighting for money, damn it! Excuse me? That can't be true. Money is what all heroes, gods, and saints want. Money makes the world go round. Well, not for me. Don't go lumping me in with those losers. <laughs> so you want to play it that way? Then I'll show you the power of cash. Come here, my little money grubbers. <laughs> what do you have to say about that? This is the power of money! Yeah! <laughs> die, die, die! You money loving pieces of garbage! Whoa, amazing! For a worthless zombie, he's uncommonly strong. And most importantly, he has the incredible willpower to resist the allure of money! He truly is one of a kind! He may just be the one I've been seeking for so long. Huh, who gives a crap? Wait, wait, wait! I ask that you please allow me to join you as a comrade! A comrade? Hell no. I is this a money thing? I'll give you as much as you want. Or, if you'd prefer, I can give you a castle. I said I don't need any of that crap. The only thing I need is to defeat the God of Destruction. Uh, don't be so hasty, Zed. He is offering us a hefty sum. Why not just accept it? It may help us defeat the God of Destruction. <laughs> Fine. In that case, I'll take it. Oh, hero! You'll accept me as a comrade, then? No, not as a comrade! From now on, you're gonna be my damn wallet! That's it! Just my wallet! Seriously? Awesome! <laughs> I managed to become his companion for a mere 100 million bucks? That's pocket chain. 
Just as I thought, for the right price, you really can buy anything. Uh, how can this be? His majesty has fallen to the forces of evil. This will not do. I refuse to stand by as peace slips from our world. All right, we're all ready. This ends today, God of Destruction. Indeed. Now, let us proceed together. Huh? You're still here? You already did your part. Don't be so mean. Have you forgotten? We're comrades. Again, you're not my comrade. You're my wallet. Huh? It would appear that I am their target. <laughs> They're after my wallet, huh? Oh, Hero Zed, you are going to protect me? Hell no, I don't care about you. Protect yourself. <laughs> How horribly cruel! And you call yourself a hero? I keep telling you, I'm no hero. I'm just a zombie. Greedy morons. Looks like the human world and netherworld aren't so different. Actually, it would seem that this robbery was premeditated from the very beginning. Ever since we got all that money, I've been catching a whiff of something ominous skulking about. Is that right? Aha! I see now. The culprit is you! Me? How did you jump to that conclusion? Forgive him. Zed's got... brain problems. I already have a good idea who the culprit really is. It must be... that guy. That guy? Yes, the guy who had once been hailed as hero. <laughs> Finally found you, your majesty. Who the hell is this guy? This guy is that guy. Hero Yarmada, the legendary hero who was tasked with defeating the God of Destruction. Oh, come on, your majesty. I quit the hero business. That's right! Through the miracle of class changing, I am now self-sequestered domicile defender, Yarmada! Self-sequestered domicile defender? Not even Yarmada, our legendary hero, could defeat the strongest god of destruction. My ability resurrected him every time he died, but it eroded his will. And now, he's a self-sequestered domicile defender. I see. And now he holds a personal grudge against you, hmm? Oh no, I'm actually quite grateful. Thanks to his majesty, I can live a comfortable life without having to work. Oh, I get it now. The one who sent those bandits after us was you! That's right! How am I supposed to maintain my current lifestyle if His Majesty loses his castle and riches? I won't allow you to ruin this. I plan on mooching off His Majesty's lap of luxury for the rest of my life. Oh, hero, how could you have turned out like this? I don't care what you have to say. I won't go easy on anyone who would rob my home of its serenity. <laughs> I don't give a crap why you're doing this. I'll crush anyone who tries to stand in my way, hero or not. <laughs> Is this all you've got, hero? You're nothing special. And revive! Whoa, he made an instant comeback. 
I may have become a self-sequestered domicile defender, but I was the hero. The king's ability still revives me. But I'm not doing it on purpose. The blood of the royal family revives the hero automatically. Understand. So long as his majesty exists, it's impossible to defeat me. Really? That's good to know. You don't intend to kill me, do you? Oh, that's a good idea, too. But I have something better in mind. If he revives no matter how many times I kill him, then he's perfect for grinding experience! <laughs> what was that? Hey, what are you planning to do? Cease this violence at once! And revive! A conscience? <laughs> if I did, it must have rotted away! <laughs> this is no different than when I was fighting the God of Destruction! <laughs> Come back here, Mr. Experience Boost! How has it come to this? I absolutely cannot believe what's happening. <laughs> Cornered you now, Mr. Experience Boost. You fiend! All right, I've got no choice. I'll show you my true power! Hmm. Seems the hero's finally taking this seriously. Are these people they're just some powerful demons I hired with the pocket money you gave me your majesty and you're saying that this is your true power you're darn right I will do whatever's necessary to protect my majesty mooching lifestyle anything Oh, Hero Yarmada, your patheticness brings me to tears. <laughs> it's mine, all mine. The mustache's castle and money, and all of your experience, too. Yeesh, you're definitely the villain here. Oh, you used to be such a kind zombie. You couldn't even hurt a fly. Damn it! I won't let you take any of my stuff! The castle, the money, they're all mine! No, no! Those things are mine! Your Majesty! Please don't abandon me! There's no way I could go on living without your support! Forgive me, Armada. I have decided to go on an adventure with Zed, and become a hero myself. What? Your Majesty a hero? What sort of idiotic nonsense is this? I have money, fame, status, territory, authority, and even enviable facial hair. And it's all thanks to money. However, the power of money is... Not the power I truly desire. I... I wish to become strong. To become a hero like you once were. I 
don't care what you want. I need you, your majesty. I need you to take care of me for the rest of my life. Was this guy really a hero? When I first met him, your Mata was most certainly a hero beyond compare. I truly admired his dignified demeanor and strength from the bottom of my heart. But now... No, 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 no! I don't want to be a hero anymore! I just want my allowance! Please! Pretty please! <sighs> and it was all because I forced him to fight the God of Destruction. Oh, the tragedy of it all! <laughs> if a few losses was all it took to break his will, he was just weak to begin with. Hmm, I sense a sudden surge in magic power. The God of Destruction is about to appear. That's what I'm talking about! Bring it on! <laughs> to think that I would end up fighting the God of Destruction myself! I never even dreamed of this! Y your Majesty! You can't fight the God of Destruction! What about your royal duty to take care of me? I am your king no more. From now on, I am a hero in the making. I'm bidding farewell to a life of relying on money. Now is the time to rely on my courage and fight! Finally showed up, huh? I'll put an end to it for sure this time. This is the God of Destruction? No way, not a chance, it's impossible! There's no way we can defeat this! Looks like we'll need to bribe it! We'll pay the God of Destruction to just go away! Uh, I'll lose everything I love! My home, my cushy life of comfort! If it's really that important to you, then you should fight to protect it. What are you saying? There's no way we could ever beat the strongest god of destruction known to man! Even I, the once legendary hero, fought it a hundred times! And ended up dying a hundred times! What's your point? If it doesn't work the first hundred times, go for a thousand! Or even ten thousand, damn it! <sighs> That's some big talk for a stupid zombie! It doesn't matter what you say if you can't back it up! Hero Yamada, you have no idea how wrong you are. Zed here has died thousands, no, tens of thousands of times so far, but he's always gotten back up. And by continuing to do so, he will defeat the God of Destruction. Is that true, Zed? But why would you go to such lengths? You're lying! It even broke my will! Me, the legendary hero! There's no way a zombie could have such courage! I'm not driven by courage. That damn... I have to be the one to take it down, damn it! No matter what! Just... getting started. Stop, Zed! If you keep fighting, you'll die! He's right! You fought well, but that's enough. It's time to give up! Like hell, I'm gonna give up. If you're not ready to die, then get the hell out of here! Even if I die, I will take down this god of destruction! Zed! It's no use trying to stop him. Zed will keep fighting. 
even if his limbs are torn off and his bones shattered. But how? At this rate, he's going to die! Death can't stop Zed. He has a reason to keep fighting, even if he has to die and die and die some more. Not yet. No matter what, I'll... I won't give up. I won't. So that's how it ends this time, huh? Well, it wasn't a bad fight, really. Rejoice, Zed. You certainly are getting stronger. Oh, hang on! So you didn't defeat it after all? But I did succeed in dealing some pretty serious damage to the God of Destruction's pinky toe. Ah, I see, I see. After all, not many things hurt more than stubbing your pinky toe on a corner of your furniture. Wait, that's not the issue! You said you defeated the God of Destruction, and yet you lost again! Hmm, is that hostility I smell in the air? Seems like they're ready to kill someone. Booing your hearts out just because someone lost once or twice? Seems pretty petty for some so-called netherworld bigwigs. You've got some nerve, you brazen little zombie. In that case, tell me this. How do you keep coming back to life? What exactly is super reincarnation? And why is it that you continued to challenge the God of Destruction, no matter how many times it killed you? Huh. If you really want to know, then shut up and listen to the rest of my story. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! It was the Genroku era. Under the pretense of tourism, King Mizador set out on a journey to right the world! <laughs> Wealth every day keeps the hardship away! Evil retainers appeared one by one, but their misdeeds did not go unnoticed by the great Mizador! Yeah. Back down! Back down, I say! You miscreants! Do you not see these golden treats? <laughs> it's cold hard cash, isn't it? Hand it over! Ah, who do you think I am? It isn't supposed to end like this! There's not a cloud in the sky. The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Ah! Just where exactly am I? I can't see anything! Ah, oh, what a pain. Z Zed, did you not fall in battle to the God of Destruction? Wait, did you drag me with you? C could it be? I is this heaven? Well, you've got some nerve thinking you'd manage to end up there. Yeah, I died. I resurrect no matter what. That's what super reincarnation is. Duh. S super reincarnation? Precisely. It's a powerful spell that allows someone to live their life over again until they've seen their wish through. It's a system that'll seek out the best avenue and resurrect the contractor, no matter how many times they've died. After someone's been super reincarnated once, they become stuck within the cycle, which is why it's forbidden. Huh. No way I'd try to get out of this. I'm gonna keep going until I take that God of Destruction down! Anyway, just what sort of world did we reincarnate into this time around? Wait, why have I reincarnated with you? Could it be? 
We're comrades? That's it, isn't it? Right? Right? Episode 3, Happily Never After. Musical world? What the hell? Can't I reincarnate somewhere normal for once? No complaining. The system has deemed this world a necessary stop in order to fulfill your wish. I find that hard to believe. Super reincarnation continually seeks the best result. There are no errors in its judgment. Indeed, indeed. Destiny brought us together as well, Zed. Destiny led us to mustache money bags? Damn. Talk about a fate worse than death. My, but what could be lovelier than a fated encounter? Surely our meeting must be destiny too. Which, without words to mince, la 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 means you must be my destined prince. What the hell gives you that idea? First things first, you... Can't you do something about your whole look? <laughs> it seems the prince this time around is rather innocent. An arrow through the heart, perhaps? L like hell it is! I just... Don't get along with girls. It's true. Girls usually hate Zed. Due to the fact that he's a zombie. His greetings are met with insults, he tries to return their hankies, they yell at him because a zombie's touched it. Zed's first crush passed out when he simply approached her. He's got a poor track record when it comes to the fairer sex. He must be quite intrigued deep down that a girl is trying to get close, even if she has an ulterior motive. It, you stupid mutt! Don't just go digging into my head like that! My, my, what a pitiful prince! No one's shown you even a speck of love? Don't worry, my darling. If, for my sake, the god of destruction you can plaster, la la la, we'll live happily ever after. Mm, this is no time for singing. We're surrounded by suspicious figures. Huh? The hell's up with these punks? Oh, they're just some of my previous princes. Even falling in battle couldn't douse their love for me. I'm pretty sure that ain't love. Now, Prince number 666, save me from the God of Destruction! My honor you shall be defending. La la la, lead me hand in hand to my happy Princess of the past, I will be setting off toward my happy ending with my new prince. What a cold princess. She certainly doesn't seem like a heroine to me. My, my! Well, I would have welcomed a happy ending with my very first prince, you know. But he and the others all ended up dead. What's a girl to do about something like that? Even so, I'm not quite sure a princess who can jump from prince to prince like that is very... Uh, what's with you? I'm not the bad guy here! It's the god of destruction's fault, obviously! The world's all gone to shambles since that prince killer showed up here! Uh... Oh, my dearest prince said, 
Won't you please defeat the God of Destruction and marry me in a fabulous wedding? M marry you? Don't I get a say in it? Well, it's only normal for a prince and princess to fall in love at first sight and immediately get married. Who the hell would ever marry a selfish chick like you? So you say, but aren't you actually a little flustered deep down? D shut it! Shut the hell up, you stupid mutt! I'm going to take down the God of Destruction. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Resistance is futile, you know. You can't possibly defy fate. Therefore, the two of us... La 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 are destined to set a wedding date. Hey! Nobody said you could join us, damn it! Give up already, Zed. This too is a part of the path Super Reincarnation has set for you. My only choices for a prince are a zombie, a mustachioed man, or a pug. La la la, almighty developers, tell me this is a bug. Hey, you know we can hear you, right? Oh my, do forgive me, my darling. I couldn't help but complain just a tiny bit. Whatever. You're just planning to use me to defeat the God of Destruction, right? Hmm? Well, who knows? That's fine. I plan on using you, too. Really? We make a perfect pair! You must truly be my fated prince after all! Hold on! There ain't gonna be any happy ending with me! To get that, you'll have to settle for one of them. No, <laughs> I certainly wouldn't be against it. Have you no pride? I threw that out the window long ago. Okay, that settles it. Lead the way to the God of Destruction. As you wish. Hmm, huh, what a cheeky brat. He's just some zombie, yet he has the nerve to turn down a marriage to me? Doesn't he know that a happy ending with me is the greatest of honors anyone can get? Hmm. His brain must have rotted through. So be it. When he defeats the God of Destruction, I will attain my own happy ending. Like I'd marry a zombie anyway. So, Melodia, have you not considered that you're awfully strong for a princess? Why, of course I rise above! After all, la la la, I have the power of love! The power of love? What good is that? Oh, don't you know? The power of love is invincible! If that were true, we'd all have it easy. I don't need love to beat the god of destruction. I need power. While it may not make you invincible, the power of love is great. You just don't know what love is yet. I once... Uh, shove it! I'm not interested in your stupid puppy love! Now listen here, Zed. Violence that relies on anger and hatred won't be enough to defeat the God of Destruction. The reason you can't beat it, even after tens of thousands of times, is because you still lack certain kinds of strength. Shut up! You're just a damn mutt! Don't you dare lecture me! Alright, let's move out, everyone! It's time to secure my happy ending! So that's how you sacrificed all of your past princes. It must have been quite an unhappy ending in their eyes. My, my, don't paint me as a tart. After all, la la la, they gave their lives for feelings of the heart. You, 
You think a little singing's gonna give you a pass for everything, huh? <laughs> Doesn't it? This is the musical world, after all. Everything's forgiven with song. Uh-huh. You don't suppose they're angry, do you? Uh, duh. I truly did wish to see my happy ending with my past princes. Oh, how wonderful it would have been to ride off into the sunset with my very first. But the god of destruction wouldn't permit it. One by one, it killed my princes, and so I live happily never after. Instead of giving up, why don't you fight? What? If you've got time to whine, just fight. Focus only on taking it down. W what's with this high and mighty attitude of yours? Are you saying you can defeat the God of Destruction? Of course I can. Y you say that, but what proof do you... Proof? I ain't got none. But I will take it down! You do understand that doesn't explain anything, don't you? What's with him, zombie freak? Oh, what lovely flowers! For a world ravaged by the god of destruction, it still retains its beauty. How surprising. Perhaps even it has a soft spot for flowers. No, that couldn't be. Flowers, huh? Thinking about Biko. Biko? And who might that be, Prince Ed? I will not allow you to brush me aside for some floozy! Are we clear? You're my prince, here to defeat the God of Destruction, so I can have my happy ending! Don't forget it! You're so damn full of yourself. Biko is Zed's little sister. He's quite proud of her. Why do you have to tell her? Well, well. Young Zed has a little sister, does he? Yep. It may be hard to believe, but Zed here is quite the doting brother. Again? Why the hell are you telling them? Oh, he's got a sister, hmm? Now that's information I can exploit. Oh, Prince Zed! Tell me about Biko, won't you? She's your pride and joy, is she not? Yeah. She really is. Ugh, things were just getting good! Can't you see this is a private conversation? Bobby! Bobby! I picked some pretty flowers. You can have them. <laughs> Thanks, Biko. But they're not really my thing. It's okay. Flowers are Bubby's thing, because they're nice, like Bubby. Th they are? If you say so. Thanks, Biko. I love them. <laughs> Thank you, Bubby. Huh? <laughs> what are you thinking me for? <laughs> because Bubby's my Bubby. <sighs> <sighs> the sheer force of Pico's cuteness almost reduced me to dust. Oh, Pico sounds like a kind, sweet, adorable little sister. No, she's the kind est, sweet est, adorable est little sister. Yo-ho-ho-ho! -ho -ho. So Zed's sister is the most important thing in the world to him. It seems he's more than meets the eye. Biko truly was a kind child. She even helped me in the past. There's no reason to hide it. 
She saved my life by transplanting my brain into a dog. Thanks to that, here I am, living my second best life. I can't thank her enough. Tr transplanting a brain into a dog? That's a rather innovative idea. That's nothing. Her dream is to become a doctor and save everyone, no matter if they're a human, demon, or zombie. Wow, she sounds wonderful. I'd really like to meet her myself. Indeed. I, too, would love to meet her. Where is she now, Zed? As if I'd ever let her meet weirdos like you. It'd really suck if she caught a case of your stupidity. There it is. The God of Destruction. I never imagined facing something that's killed you before could be so terrifying. I think I now understand why Armada became a self-sequestered domicile defender. Zed, how do you plan to attack it this time? Huh? The hell you mean, how? I'm just gonna fight it with everything I've got, same as always. Then you'll probably die, like always. If you think about it, there must be a reason Super Reincarnation chose this world. You're the one who's always talking about my rotten brain. It's not like I'll come up with anything. Oh, Prince Zed! What do you think about performing a special love combo attack with me, hmm? Love combo attack? Yes! It's heart. A love combo will rend. La 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 and lead us straight to my happy end. I really can't stand the thought of teaming up with a rotten zombie, but I'll do it for my happy ending. No way! I can't stand girls! And I don't need any of that mushy love crap! Oh, is that so? But doesn't thinking about Biko fill you with strength sometimes? Well... That is the power of love, Prince Ed. You already hold it within you. You just don't know how to utilize it. Uh, fine, whatever. We'll give this special love combo attack of yours a try. <laughs> Said, I knew you'd come to accept my love sooner or... Hey, Mustache, hook up with Miss All about me. Zed, that may not be the best choice of words. Blush, I'm inexperienced in matters of the heart, so please, be gentle. Uh-huh. Hey, wait! How did it end up like this? Shut up! You're taking down the god of destruction with the power of love, aren't you? Your happy ending's right... No! There's nothing happy about this at all! <sighs> Not even the power of our love can face it! That's because there was never any love between us to begin with. Please don't throw me aside. If it's money you're after, I'll give you all you want. He really is the worst king ever. Not yet. It's not over yet. I won't give up, damn it. I won't. Calm yourself, Zed. You've managed to wound its right hand a bit. It may not be much, but you have improved. That's nowhere near enough. No matter what it takes, I... I have to take that thing down! Ah! Why? Why does he keep fighting? 
Hasn't he suffered enough? It's unthinkable for some zombie to stand up against the strongest god of destruction like this. Prince Zed is different from my past princes. Maybe, just maybe, he can prevail. Agreed. Zed will surely do so someday. It just won't be today. It's not over yet. I won't give up. I am not giving up! Calm down, everyone. We should all have expected this by now. But that aside, I'd appreciate a bit more specificity. Regarding this beacon. What? Well, I can't help but be curious about what that cute little sister of yours is doing, or where she is now. So talk. Hey, how the hell do you know how cute Biko is? <laughs> they don't call me an overlord just for show, you know. Behold, while you were prattling on, I secretly gathered these pictures of Biko. Cerberus? This guy's creepy as hell. Hurry up and call the cops. Now! Roger that. Oh, hello, police. Wait, 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 wait. Please, wait. It's only a joke. I hate to admit it, but everyone here at the Darkest Assembly, myself included, is intrigued by your tale. But the question remains, are you a hero or the greatest con man of the century? I shall uncover the truth. Now, continue this tale of yours. Exactly how was it that you managed to defeat the God of Destruction? Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! Behold! The fair city where Prince Zed and I fell in love, despite being born into opposing families! Like hell we did! Oh, Prince Zed, Prince Zed, wherefore art thou Prince Zed? And while we're at it, why art thou so rotten? Uh, because I'm a zombie? Duh. Come, Prince Zed. Once from our families we flee. La la la, together we shall always live happily. Uh, her running away isn't gonna make us happy. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Another super reincarnation, huh? What kind of world is it this time? Hmm, it appears to be highly advanced, at least from a technological perspective. Huh? Didn't Prince Zed die? Wait a second, did I die too? Is this a tragic ending? No! Anything but a tragic ending! Chill out. We just super reincarnated. Huh? Super reincarnated? <sighs> Must we explain this yet again? How troublesome. Then allow me! When the darkness of evil is on the rise, we crash the villainous party! 
Our seven lights spring to the task to save the world with courage and hope. With our powers combined, we are Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! From this moment on, you are all part of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! For the sake of justice! Hey, what the hell? I'm just here to take down the God of Destruction. Right! And we'll fight against it as fellow Prism Rangers! Let's shoot for 100% ratings! Hmm, how interesting. The world we've reincarnated into seems to be inside some television show. Episode 4, The Meaning of Justice. A world inside of a television show. Inconceivable! The God of Destruction will destroy any world indiscriminately. There's no reason why it wouldn't show up here. So, why the hell did it have to be a TV show world this time around? The most likely explanation is that this world holds a power necessary to defeat the God of Destruction. That sounds like a load of crap! As I said, Super Reincarnation always seeks the most likely avenue for success. It never makes mistakes. Hmm? So, we're on TV right now? Is that what you mean? That's right! You're the newest members of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! Oh, how splendid! I've become a ranger! That's similar to a hero, isn't it? Hey, Armada! Are you watching this? I shan't be outdone! La la la, I'll sing our theme song when we've won! You can't! The show's already got a theme song! And more importantly, you still have to listen to my explanation! Previously on the Prism Rangers, losing heart after back-to-back -back losses, the Rangers went their separate ways. But just as the final Ranger, Prism Red, found herself alone, heroes from another world appeared to help her defeat the villain! And that's the story so far. Yeah, I still have no idea what the hell's going on. We haven't been able to defeat the God of Destruction. At this rate, our show will be cancelled. Please join the Prism Rangers! For the sake of all the good little kids watching at home! Hell no. Your other members ran from the God of Destruction, yeah? Serves them right if your show gets cancelled. You're definitely not wrong about that, but I want to stay a Prism Ranger. I have to see justice served. Justice? That's so pointless. What's it good for, anyway? But... Justice is the ultimate good! Justice will save the world! No, no, you're thinking of money. Money makes the world go round. My, you're both wrong. It's the power of love that will save the world, right, Princess? You can buy love with money. That's not called love, you moron. Ugh, I thought everyone's hearts would come together and the Prism Rangers would make a comeback. But with hearts as disjointed as yours, we're totally screwed. We're surrounded! This is a real pinch! What a pain. I'll just kill any punks that get in my way. We did it! 
And our ratings went up for the first time in ages! That's how life works. No matter how much you preach about justice, it's winning that actually matters. When it comes down to it, winning is justice. <laughs> winning is justice. Come, come, Zed. Statements like that will set a bad example for the children. Shut up! It's about time someone taught those brats how the real world works. Do what it takes to win. Get back up when you fall. Survive at all costs. Winning is justice. Do what it takes to win. I finally found the answer I've been searching for this whole time! Winning is justice! Of course that's how things work! Justice means nothing if you lose! All right, Prism Rangers, from here on out, we shall barrel down the road of total carnage at breakneck speed! My, my, her path has certainly taken a dark turn. Oh well, it should be fun to watch. Hmm, I have a feeling this show will be canceled whether we win or lose. What a waste of time. Let's hurry up and get to wherever the God of Destruction is. Got it, Prism Zed. All right, Prism Rangers. Let's cut straight to the final victory slash. Who the hell is Prism Zed? I don't remember joining your stupid squad, you hear me? Aw, oh, come on. It's okay, right? You guys will be Prism Zed, Prism King, Prism Princess, and Prism Puff. And with all seven of us here together, the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers are finally complete! Can't you count? There ain't seven of us. You call that complete? Now, now, Zed. Where's the harm in that? After all, I quite like the sound of Prism King. Yes, Prism Princess isn't so bad. La la la, the warrior of love is no passing fad. Prism Pup, I, who was once a highly respected sage, have been reduced to Prism Pup. Amazing! Our ratings are skyrocketing! The show is as good as saved! Wow, I can't believe it. Justice really does depend on victory. <laughs> now you get it. Right doesn't make might. Might makes right. And if you want to win, you need to get stronger so you won't lose to anyone. Indeed. In other words, he means the might of money. My, my, how absurd. I believe you mean the power. Uh, wrong! What I'm talking about is power that'll let you destroy anything with one hit! Absolute power, baby! Absolute power, huh? So what do you plan to do once you've attained this absolute power, Prism Zed? Ain't it obvious? I'm gonna use it to take down that damn god of destruction! Zed, why are you so fixated on defeating the God of Destruction? Your persistence is abnormal. I'm rather curious too. No common prince would keep trying in the face of inevitable death. That's... Uh, that's none of your business. By the way, Prince Zed, how does one obtain that absolute power you mentioned earlier? If I knew, do you think I'd be having so much trouble? If it isn't money or love, what other kind of absolute power could there possibly be? Hmm, absolute power... Oh, I have an idea! You do? Then spit it out already! Right! There are rumors that the Prism Rangers
and your sworn enemy has completed a secret weapon. This evil organization has supposedly created a terrifying new bomb that could destroy the entire world. All right, that's gotta be it. Let's steal it. Got it! The Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers are setting off for justice! I don't even know what justice is anymore. The truth is, there's no such thing as justice. Winning is all that matters. <sighs> this show really is going to be a bad influence on the kids at home. Justice anyway, Peori. Because it's my job, as Prism Red, leader of the Prism Rangers, to see justice prevail. That is the duty I inherited from the previous Prism Red. That's why I have to see to it that justice is served. Is that so? Then what is your idea of justice? My idea of justice? Well... Winning! Winning is justice! Sounds like Zerd's warped perceptions have infected you. I don't think you actually know what justice means to you. Uh, okay, okay, you're right. It's embarrassing to admit it, but yeah. I have no clue. Hey, what's the holdup? Show us how to get to the secret weapon already. Right. I know my brother would never have done it this way, but I don't have time to hesitate. It doesn't matter what kind. I have to see some sort of justice served. We're here! This is the location of the secret weapon our sworn enemy developed. Its full designation is Super Dreadnought Class Final Weapon, Hair Razor. Hmm, I smell an incredible amount of energy in the air. So this is the power of science. All right, all we gotta do is steal this thing and use it on the God of Destruction. Uh, don't you think that would be dangerous, Zed? One wrong move and this world will be in peril! Huh? The world? I couldn't care less about it. I only care about taking out the God of Destruction. That's right! Winning is justice, and justice is winning! Winning comes first, the world comes second! That's fine with me! I'm not concerned about how happy the world's ending is. I only care about my own. They've all lost it. Hey! You know this is our secret evil organization's hideout, right? You can't break in here! This is a safe space! Well, we did anyway! Because we're the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! Pr Prism Red? What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> it's only natural for justice to appear wherever evil lurks. So, you've finally shown up to take down our secret evil organization, huh? Is that it? For reals? Oh, yeah! It's time for me to break out that special lethal technique I've been practicing! Oh, you've got it wrong. We're here to steal your Super Dreadnought Class Final Weapon. You know, for justice reasons. What?! S steal it! For justice reasons? But stealing is wrong! 
And you call yourself a defender of justice? <laughs> Such infantile notions are a thing of the past. I have awoken to true justice. Winning is justice, and might makes right. Here I come! Hiya! Ugh, Prism Red, you idiot! Even as your enemy, I always thought your sense of justice was cool. But now... Huh? A am I not cool anymore? Of course not! Just look at you! What the hell kind of justice is this, moron? Uh... Hey! Now's not the time to be doubting yourself. What happened to your sense of justice? You're... you're right! In order to see justice through, we'll obliterate the God of Destruction by any means necessary! Obliterate? Any means necessary? The Prism Red I knew would never say such things. Zed, it's coming. Yeah, I got this. We've gained more allies and even a secret weapon. I'm sick of dying, so let us prevail this time. Agreed. Let's push ahead. La 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 to a happy ending we'll be led. I, I won't be outdone either. I'm going to win. I'll see to it that justice is served. Come, Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. It's Ranger time. <laughs> it's time to use the secret weapon. Do it, Prism Red. Launch it where the sun don't shine! Prepare for 1,000 years of butthurt! Oh, this show really is a bad influence on children. Alright! Super Dreadnought Class Final Weapon, Hair Razor! Here we go! <laughs> did, did that do it? Justice prevails after all! That means my happy ending's at hand, right? <laughs> this can't be happening. After all we've done, we still can't win? It would seem this is as far as we go this time. Zed, we must retreat. Ah, another tragic ending? The hell are you giving up for? Huh? You're still planning on fighting? We have no chance of winning. She's right, Prism Zed. We gave it all we had. Don't you think this is enough? Don't make me laugh. We're not stopping until I take that thing out. <laughs> like hell I'll lose. afraid to die. I'm more scared of giving up, like you pathetic punks! D damn it! Next time, for sure.
You definitely are growing, Zed. But it seems there's something you need in order to defeat the God of Destruction. Something you still lack. Another loss. Well, at least you've been dealing more damage to the God of Destruction. That is the purpose of Super Reincarnation. One gets stronger with each resurrection. Oh, a fearsome spell indeed. Still, it remains quite difficult to believe your claims of victory. After all, it possesses an abnormal amount of strength. Even I, Overlord Ivar, would struggle against it. Hmm, now that you mention it, I did hear an overlord challenged it and barely escaped with their life. You're mistaken. I did not flee from battle. I, uh, simply forgot whether I locked up and returned home to check. Are you really trying to sell that pile of crap to me? And you call yourself an overlord. Anyway, I think it's time you continued. I wish to hear more. Especially about Rico. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that last part. But I'll tell you about the final person who joined us. Previously on Disgaea 6. Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! In a world of bread and fairies, the Defenders of Justice stood up against the evil Jermartians. Ha ha ha! Don't worry, kids! Prism Breadman has arrived to save the day! And my filling is made of love, courage, and friendship! So you're finally showing your face, you evil Jermartian! Ha ha ha! Hey, wait! Why am I the bad guy? Shut up! If you're really that against it, we can just switch your head out. <laughs> My neck! My head's not supposed to come off! The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Fighting the God of Destruction, and Prism Zed died, right? I'm alive and well. <sighs> as much as a zombie can be, anyway. No, <laughs> allow me to explain. This is called Super Reincarnation. Oh, I get it. Justice is eternal. It can't die, right? Uh. Indeed, I was about to say something along those lines. Wielders of heightened magical power, pray tell, who might you be? Huh? Who's this shriveled old hag? Oh, foul mouth brat. I am Marjorie, witch of the abyss and principal of the Magimage School of Magic. Our security system is flawless, and our familiars show no mercy to intruders. If you value your lives, leave at once. Shut up and get out of the way, hag. We've come here to take down the God of Destruction. What did you just say? You? Take down the God of Destruction? Ah! Yes, we. The Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers are here to save the day! Oh my! It seems we're officially members of the Prism Rangers now, Prism Pup! That's not my name. To think I wasted my time listening to you. It's not possible to defeat the God of Destruction. 
Hey, that's just your opinion. Impossible or not, it doesn't matter. I will take that thing down. Well... I do sense incredible power from you. Your eyes may look soulless and dead inside, but I can see that you've been through countless terrible battles. Still, it simply isn't possible to take down the God of Destruction. Not without the power of the legendary witch. Episode 5, The Magical Wand of Transformation. of the legendary witch can defeat the god of destruction. The legendary witch? Huh? You know something about that, Cerberus? No, pardon the interruption. Please continue. Certainly. Our school has been entrusted with the legendary witch's ultimate item, the magical wand of transformation. The legends state that using it will grant you the form of an invincible witch then and there. It's more than likely that the only way to defeat the strongest god of destruction is to utilize that power. Okay, hand it over then. I'll just turn into this invincible witch thing and take it down. Zed! Do you, of all people, intend to become a witch? Psst. You do know that they're all girls, right? Who cares? All that matters is defeating the God of Destruction. My, my! Prince Ed really won't hesitate to do whatever it takes. So Prism Zed will become Prism Zedina. Now that's what I call a ratings booster. I appreciate your spirit, but only fully trained witches like me are capable of transforming into invincible witches. Oh, what the hell? All right then, Pruny, why don't you transform for us? What? Me? Hmm. I suppose it's fine since our school might otherwise be destroyed by the God of Destruction. Should that happen, my precious students would surely all perish. I must do all I can to prevent that from happening. Very well. Since it's only temporary, I shall transform into an invincible witch. Huh? Who the hell are these punks? Remember when I mentioned our security system? Since you weren't invited here, you're all technically intruders. But this is a good opportunity for me to grade your abilities. What the? You managed to obtain it already? What's the problem? I just saved us a bunch of time. Huh. And here I thought you were a run-of-the-mill zombie. You're no ordinary individual, are you? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hurry up and transform, you old hag. This is for my students. Ah! Incredible! An overwhelming amount of magic power is being unleashed within me! <sighs> Zed... Zed... Huh? Who's calling me? Zed...
I have a request to make. I can't hear you. If you got something to say, then speak up, got it? Please, stop him. Huh? What the hell was that? What's wrong now, Zed? Uh, nothing. I was just hearing things. You know how it is. My brain's rotted through. Hearing things? That's rather alarming, Zed. Um, speaking of alarming... Here's the one's magical power has transformed her from an old woman to a young girl. Is this really the time to be calmly analyzing the situation? I mean, just look at me! Who cares? Does it really matter as long as it helps us defeat the God of Destruction? Of course it does! What does this have to do with being invincible? Trotting around as a miniskirt wearing magical girl when I'm already well over 10,000 years old. What a nightmare. The birth of a 10,000 year old magical girl certainly is a nightmare. She may look that way on the outside, but she's really over 10,000 years old, you know. That's totally fine. The TV audience won't care, as long as she's adorable. Cute as justice, too. Huh? What's this piece of paper? Oh? It appears to be the instructions for the magical wand of transformation. According to this, you need to recite an incantation with a true name to receive its full power. An incantation with a true name? What am I supposed to say? Transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene! Then you twirl. What? I said, transform! Magical Girl Magnificent Marjoline is on the scene with a twirl. Wh what? Hey, hurry up and say it already. I want to see what an invincible witch can do. Stop insisting on the impossible! I'm over 10,000 years old, you brat! As if I could ever say something so embarrassing. It's fine, familiars. These people aren't intruders. Stand down at once. Are you incapable of following simple commands? It's me, you fools! Principal Moduline! Don't you recognize me? Well, of course they don't. You look like a completely different person. <laughs> it's far more unreasonable to expect them to recognize you like this, is it not? Ugh. This shameless form is entirely unbecoming for the Honorable Maji Mage School of Magic's principal. I must defeat the God of Destruction and regain my original form. Otherwise, I'll lose my status, along with my dignity. About that, you do know you're stuck this way, right? Huh? 
It says right here in the instructions, once used, you cannot reverse course. Take care when doing so. with being absolutely adorable. Don't you agree, Peori? She's right. Cute is justice after all. There are so many people who would pay mountains of cash to be young again. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. for the principal of such an esteemed institution to run around as a shameless, magical girl! <laughs> oh, I don't see the problem here. Don't sweat the small stuff. This isn't small in the least! <sighs> How did it all come to this? You're the one who used that wand thingy without reading the instructions first. That's true, but... I told you not to sweat the small stuff. Don't you want to protect your students from the God of Destruction? Just focus on that. Does anything else really matter? Y you may be right, but... No! It's impossible what I happen to look like this! So, you care more about your looks than you do your students? Is that it? Uh, th th that's... Hmph. I guess they don't mean that much to you after all. S silence I will not allow myself to be lectured by some pathetic zombie. I am Principal Majoline of the prestigious Maji Mage School of Magic! My burden is greater than your existence. Burden? So whatever burden you got is more important than your students? Well, what about you? You couldn't possibly know what it's like to bear such a burden. Of course I do! Hm. I'll talk most likely. If that's true, then tell me. Why are you fighting the God of Destruction? Because... Looks like we've got company. Time to shut our yaps. Bobby. Hmm? What's wrong? Can't sleep, Pico? Yeah, I had a scary dream. Well, do you want to sleep here tonight? Bubby's super strong, so don't worry. There's nothing to be scared of as long as I'm here. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Bubby. I love you. No! Oh! Biko's cuteness almost vaporized me again. But but Biko knows. Bubby's not good at fighting. People pick on poor Bubby all the time. So you saw that, huh? Well, I may be weak in a fight, but do you know what is strong? My heart. No matter what happens, I'll protect you, Biko. Now get some sleep, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love you lots, Bubby. Night-night. <sighs> What's wrong, Zed? You have that sad look you get when you're thinking about Biko. Shut up. Mind your own business for once. Biko is the name of Zed's younger sister, correct? Huh? Prism Zed's got a Prism Sis? Let's add her to our ranks! Actually, I've been wondering. Why isn't she here with you? Is she watching the house like a good little girl? No. She was killed by the God of Destruction. 
Why, that's... Damn it, Cerberus, you stupid blabbermouth! There's no point in hiding it. They would have found out eventually. Prism Zed? Who knew you had such a tragic backstory? I see. You wish to fight the God of Destruction in order to avenge your younger sister. To think I believed my own burden was heavier than yours. Please forgive me. You have my sincerest apologies. I don't need your stupid apology. All I need is to take down the God of Destruction. Prince said, I finally understand why you keep opposing the God of Destruction, regardless of your wounds. Badum. Huh? Did my heart just badum? I I'm a princess. It isn't possible for some zombie to make my heart race like this. No, it's absolutely impossible. Young Zed is fighting solely to avenge his deceased sister. In comparison to him, I... I wish to protect my students, even at the cost of my life. That much is for certain. But, at the same time, I am bound by the fear of how others perceive me. It's become very clear to me now. I swore to never lose any of my precious students ever again. But here I am, fretting over my appearance. I... I... What's going on? I'm detecting an extremely high energy signature. The God of Destruction has appeared! The God of Destruction? I must do something to stop it before my students are caught up in this mess! So this is the God of Destruction. I've never seen it up close before. How very sinister. You guys ready? Don't chicken out on me. <sighs> Are you alright, Magdalene? You can hide somewhere if you're frightened, you know? Everyone's big sister, Prism Red, will protect you! Stop treating me like a child, you brats! Huh? Who do you take me for? I'm the Witch of the Abyss, and the principal of the prestigious Magi Mage School of Magic! Who cares about appearances? I will do whatever is necessary to protect my students! Transform! Magical girl, magnificent Magdalene is on the scene! Twirl! or not, I'm ready to teach it a lesson! <laughs> Looks like Magi Granny finally snapped. Alright, let's take that stupid God of Destruction down this time! How can this be? Even the power of an invincible witch is no match for the God of Destruction! It's possible you haven't acclimated to the transformation enough to unleash its full power yet. That's gotta be it. We'll keep getting stronger, so we can always try again next time. If we die now, there won't be a next time! <laughs> That's
That's not necessarily so. You see, there's a spell known as Super Reincarnation. Yo, morons! Why the hell are you giving up so soon? <laughs> what the hell? You, uh, you eat something bad? Of course not! I'm simply sinking into despair! Poor Pico. That adorable little girl was killed by the god of destruction! How could life be so cruel and unjust? You're crying for Biko? You're not so bad for an overlord. I always figured you were all jerks that don't know how to bleed or cry. Being easily moved to tears is my only weakness. I won't forgive that horrid thing. The force of my wrath will... Chill. I said I took it out already. Stop spinning your lies. Haven't you perished each and every time you faced it? As I said, it isn't possible for scum like you to defeat the God of Destruction. We will proceed to execute- I object! You what? Who the hell even are you? Yo, <laughs> I am the one and only Misador, king of the human world. Said story is certainly no lie. I myself shall testify to that. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! Principal Marjoline, famed detective at the School of Magic, was forced to take a pill, becoming Magical Girl Detective Marjoline. Don't you think you're mixing too many things together here? With the body of a girl and the mind of a hag, she investigates murder case after murder case. The truth is always shrouded in mystery. Huh? None of the cases were closed? There's no other choice. You gotta transform into Magnificent Moduline and become an academic hero! Can't you pick a genre and stick with it? The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. <laughs> I am the one and only Misador, king of the human world. Said story is certainly no lie. I myself shall testify to that. Why the hell are you here? I've come to assist you, of course. We are allies, Zed. Comrades in arms. Nobody wants you here, old man. <laughs> oh, we both know you don't really mean that. Now, hear ye, hear ye. No one would blame you for discounting the word of a zombie brat like this. Therefore, I, king of the human world, shall testify to his validity. This is my home world, is it not? So this is the power of super reincarnation. I can hardly believe such a high-level spell exists. Finally, 
someone who fully appreciates the wonders of super reincarnation. After years upon years spent researching this supremely difficult and high-level spell, I... Forget that for a second. What the hell's going on? This is the first time we've done a repeat. Super Reincarnation always seeks the best solution. This world must still hold something you need. The power to defeat the God of Destruction, for instance. Say what? The power to defeat the God of Destruction? Hey, Mustache! You've still got some dough stashed away somewhere, don't you? Cough it up! Uh, I... no idea what you're talking about! If there's anything from this world that I'm missing, it's cash! Now fork it over! But I gave you my entire fortune last time! He doesn't need to know that isn't true. Money is the source of my power! As if I could hand over my lifeline so easily! There's no use hiding it! I'll swipe every last coin in your stupid castle! Episode 6, Lord of the Kachings. And that's the gist of Super Reincarnation. You managed to create such a high-level spell on your own? You're no ordinary dog. Hear that, Zed? You should be treating me with respect. Worship me as the sage I am from this day forward. <laughs> what sage? All I see is a mangy mutt. I never imagined Cerberus to be such an incredible individual. Well, what a predicament! If Zed truly steals all my money, I'll be nothing but a worthless bum! <laughs> That's true. After all, you snore, knock things over with your gut, reek of old people, and leer like a pervert. Oh, that was a critical hit. Worthy of 9,999,999 points of emotional damage. Don't worry, you still have your one strength, Prism King. Oh, Prism Red, I expected nothing less from a defender of justice. Your words have saved this desolate heart of mine. What is this strength you speak of? My stylish facial hair? My forgiving heart? My devilishly handsome face? I'll be straight with you, Prism King. It's your wallet. But money again? Ugh. Every last person only speaks of my cash, my scratch, my moolah. That's how it's always been. Everyone approaches me with compliments, but in the end, all they want is a share of my wealth. When it comes down to it, I'm not a man. I'm simply a walking pile of cash. Ugh. <sighs> Enemies and allies alike are only ever after my money. This is why I did not desire the throne. I wished to be a hero who fought with courage, not currency. Oh, woe that I bear the fate of being born into the royal line. There was no path but the throne for me. Oh, my. I understand exactly how you feel. I, too, am a princess by birth. I never had a chance at any other life. I might as well just be some robot, programmed to seek out my happy ending over and over. It is the same for me. I live a life bound by family status and tradition. Whoa, I get what you guys mean. Even I can't think of being anything other than a prism ranger. Are all of you stupid or something? It's your life, isn't it? Live it any way you want. Cut the Mopey Protag Act and take some responsibility for yourself. You needn't be so curt. He's right. Nobody likes a meanie, Prince Zed. 
<laughs> Good grief. What's with that attitude of his? How terribly offensive. Have you already forgotten? Zed's younger sister was killed by the God of Destruction. We still have the opportunity to fix our feelings. But for Zed, nothing in the world can bring his sister back. You're right. Prince Zed doesn't wallow in self-pity. He only focuses on avenging her death over and over again. Goodness me. How... gallant. Prism Zed's been fighting so hard for so long. Our worries must seem like nothing to him. I see. Perhaps he was encouraging us to take control of our own lives. Yes, that must have been his intent. You're lucky to have found such great allies, Zed. All that's left is for you to obtain the power to defeat the God of Destruction. By the way, who's been ruling this world while you've been gone, Prism King? Hmm. Hmm? I'm not aware of what occurred after I joined Zed in his endeavors. However, I can easily reclaim the throne with the power of money. Goodness! A gilded king, is he? I pity his poor subjects. You have my condolences. Kings like you usually end up dead. La la la, the revolution will have your head. Uh, don't kill me off so easily. I have the power of money on my side. A revolution is nothing to be feared. Rebels, time for my ultimate move, Monetary Compensation! <laughs> what, what is going on here? My, my, your majesty. They sure seem to resent you. Hey, Zed. I figured out why this revolution is happening. The consumption tax in this world recently saw a 1,200% increase. 1,200%? Whoa, you must be swimming in tax money! Hold on a moment! I've been by your side this whole time! These higher taxes are not my doing! Indeed. The one who raised them was King Yarmada. What? Hero Yarmada! My, oh my! Has someone's throne been usurped by a hero? Such a pitiful little king. <laughs> it doesn't matter who we're up against. All I'm interested in is swiping the mustache stash of cash. That'll give me the power I need to take out the God of Destruction. Come on, let's head to the castle. Oh, Hero Yarmada, how could you have fallen like this? <sighs> I'm sorry, Your Majesty. The God of Destruction beat me again. You needn't apologize. You're doing marvelous work, with no vacation, no bonuses, and minimal reward at that. <laughs> it's fine, Your Majesty. After all, I didn't become a hero for the riches and rewards. People believe in me. For one such as I, their smiles are the greatest reward I could ask for. Oh, Hero Yarmada. You possess something wonderful, something that money could never buy. I am truly envious. If only I too were born a hero rather than a king. I wanted to become as strong as Hero Yarmada. I wanted the courage to stand against the God of Destruction myself without relying on the power of money. I am not but a wealthy coward, 
who only happened to be born royal. Forget being a hero. I'm not fit to be king. Oh, you finally get it, huh? Right now, you're not a king or a hero. You're just a mustache. Zed. Are you gonna go out a lame mustache? Or will you become something more? You're the only one who can decide. I'm the only one who can decide? Is that really something I can do on my own? Yeah, of course it is. Who else is gonna do it? I see. Hmm. The decision is mine. Oh, Hero Yamada! How could you have fallen like this? Enough! I don't want to be a hero anymore! Hero Yamada! What are you saying? Do you know how many times I've died? A hundred! That's ten tens! I'm sick of it! I quit! But everyone is awaiting the day you succeed! Uh, then you be the hero, your majesty! You've just been sitting on your stupid butt doing nothing! Forget it! I'm done with this! You hear me? Done! Me, a hero? If only I could. If only I had the courage and strength you once possessed. <sighs> What's wrong, Prism King? Is there something bugging you? Everyone, if I could have a moment, I'd like for all of you to tell me what is most important to you. Where exactly is this coming from? Nowhere in particular. I've merely found myself lost in the tangled woods of life. Most important? For me, it is most definitely my happy ending! My students. I want to protect them, no matter what. Mine goes without saying. It's justice! I see. What I considered most important was money. I resolved everything with it. I have never achieved anything without it. If one took money away from such a person, what would remain? Oh, definitely nothing. Your bluntness hurts, but yes. Without my riches, I would have nothing. But I wish to become strong. I want the courage Zed has to stand against the God of Destruction without money. Good grief, you sound so childish. There is no need to deny the power of money. What? She's right. Money, strength, courage. Why not have it all? I see. That had never occurred to me. It's been a while, King Mizador. Or perhaps I should call you the once and forgotten king. You've changed, Hero Yarmada. I'm no hero! I'm the king! I have the money now! No one can beat me! This man was once a hero? He must have gone off the deep end. <laughs> if money really made you unbeatable, then this would be way easier. That's right. What's important is love! How many times do I have to say it? It's definitely justice! I would appreciate it if you left this to me, everyone. Oh, Hero Yarmada, is money truly so important to you? Was your greatest reward not the smiles of the people? Ha 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 ha! Smiles? They aren't even worth a buck. The greatest reward is money! Money is absolute power! Hmm. He's got a point. 
True, I too believe money to be both the greatest reward and the greatest power one could have. But even so, there are things that matter more in life, Hero Yarmada. I will make you remember what you once taught me. You win, Your Majesty. I knew it. The power of money is unbeatable. You're wrong, Hero Yarmada. Have you forgotten what I said? Some things are more important than money. Such as comrades. Comrades? There are other things as well. Smiles, courage, honor, kindness. It was you who taught me this. Huh? I did? That's right. You were someone I truly admired. I'd always dreamed of becoming strong and courageous like you. But without said courage, I could never make that dream a reality. It was Zed and my allies here who triggered a change in me. Having found such excellent comrades, I shall finally become the hero I dreamed of! Y your Majesty, that's simply impossible! No matter how you look at the situation, only chosen ones can class change into heroes. Either by heroic lineage or obtaining a legendary sword somewhere. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but some walls can't be scaled, no matter how hard you try. If a wall's in your way, then just tear the stupid thing down! Uh, huh? What do heroic lineages and legendary swords gotta do with it? If you wanna be a hero, just be one. Hell, I started out as a normal zombie. A level one printy could have beat me up. But I didn't give up. I'm gonna take down the God of Destruction. That's why I fight, no matter how many times I die. If someone like me can get strong, why can't Mustache over here become a hero? Zed. <laughs> Don't let it go to your head. You have my thanks, Zed. Your words have given me courage. I will become a hero. I'll show the entire world. This overwhelming magical energy. Could it be? Indeed, it is the God of Destruction. Drawn to Zed's power, I presume. Ah! It's the God of Destruction! Somebody help! Leave it to me! Y Your Majesty? I'm no longer a mere king. For I possess a king's financial power and a hero's courage. I am now Hero King Mizador! Calling yourself a hero king? I told you not to let it go to your head, mustache. It is not mere talk, Zed. As you can see, I've obtained a hero certificate of my very own. It's a golden hero certificate! Less than ten people in the whole universe have one! How did you get it? There's no doubt in my mind he simply purchased one. Indeed I did! What's wrong with that? If I make use of the power of money, I can obtain anything at all! I'll use my piles and piles of cash to defeat tons and tons of enemies! That, my friends, is how Hero King Mizador gets things done! 
He's an amazing king now, even if he's still a smelly, snoring fatso. Oh! Power is welling up inside of me! So bright! It's blinding! Is he transforming into the legendary hero Prism Gold? Wait a second, why the hell is Mustache the one who's getting more power? There's no point in us being here if I'm not the one getting stronger! That power belongs to me! Hand it over, damn it! No! <laughs> I'm afraid that's not possible! Oh, God of Destruction! I, Hero King Mizador, will show you what the power of money can achieve! Hero King or not, his main weapon is still just money, huh? We did it! We finally took it down! She can finally... <laughs> and thus, Hero King Mizador brought peace to the entire world. It seems it was worth it to swallow my pride and transform into a magical girl after all. Justice prevails! Another victory for the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! Is it really over? At last we've reached a happy ending! No. It is still too early to celebrate. It's regenerating! Correct. Not only that, it becomes even more powerful after doing so. No fair! There's no justice in using cheat codes! <sighs> Don't give up! We just have to beat it down again! don't have enough strength to take you down for good. But I'm glad I'm finally getting to the point where I can have a real fight with you. Just a little bit more, then I can finally... And that is where my testimony ends. Hey, what the hell? He didn't act like that when I was the one talking. <laughs> I bribed them ahead of time. <laughs> Demons are indeed weak against bribery. Even I received compensation. Hey! You're the overlord, damn it! Start acting like one! Bribery aside, the god of destruction defeated you yet again, you little wretch. How will you come back from the brink this time? Like I said before, our only option is immediate execution. Now wait just a moment! Next up on the stand... La la la, the fairest testimony in the land. Oh, that marvelous singing voice could only belong to... <laughs> As you all know, I'm Princess Melodia of the musical world. Sorry for my late entrance, everyone. Sit back and watch as I tell the amazing tale of love between Prince Zed and I. 
Hey, don't you go rewriting history! Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! It's the Great Age of Heroes! Men pursue their dreams and ambitions in hopes of exemplifying heroism! <laughs> Behold, it is I, he who wields the power of the Kaching Kaching Fruit, Mizador the Money Man! My crew landed on an island whose people were suffering at the hands of an evil hero. Go forth, Mizador! Attack! Kaching Kaching! Bribe attack! He who controls bribes controls the world! Go forth! Bribe them all! Galactic Unlimited Funds! <laughs> I'm gonna be king of the heroes! The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Uh, uh, huh? Is this? Oh, this beautifully nostalgic scenery! We've returned to my world! Again with the repeats? Damn, what the hell's going on? Hmm, perhaps Super Reincarnation has determined that the best route involves the growth of your allies. They need to grow? Pfft, forget that! I'm the only one who needs to get stronger! No, you've reached your limit. For you to get any stronger, you must first strengthen your allies. Huh? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, Prince said! Now that we've returned to my homeworld, let's hold our wedding ceremony! Why the hell would we do that? The source of Melodia's strength is love. Marrying her could give you access to the power of love in battle. Hugly makes an excellent point. You always say you'll do anything to defeat the God of Destruction. And by that measure, marriage should be nothing at all. And by that measure, marriage should be nothing at all. Said, you mustn't embarrass a lady like this. Accept her proposal. Sh shut up, you old crone. There's no way anyone could get stronger by marrying Miss All About Me. My, my. I'm not as self-centered as you make me out to be. Like any princess, I'm simply honest with my feelings. That comment is liable to bring on an endless stream of complaints from every princess out there. Episode 7, For Whom the Bell Sings. Welcome home, dearest sister. Two prison princesses! Is she your twin sister or something? Absolutely not! For I am the only princess! I don't have the slightest clue who she could be! How cruel of you to say you don't know me! I am this world's new princess, Naive! Oh, there's another one of her? What a pain. I'd prefer you not lump me in with her. I wish for everyone to feel equally happy. Through agony and despair. In other words, a tragic ending, a traumatic ending, to bring death to the tale and happiness to all. What? A tragic ending bringing happiness to all? As if that could be true. It most certainly is true. I'll even prove it to you. My 
Princess, how can this be? Is an unhappy ending what you all truly desire? How dare you use my previous princess like this? I won't forgive you! Oh dear sister, has your ego clouded your memory? You were the one who used them the most. I... I beg your pardon? Your princes desire an unhappy ending for you because of how you are. Th th that's impossible! I am a princess after all! I will have my happy ending! No, no. Twill be a tragic ending. No, no. Twill be a happy ending. This is stupid. What's it matter either way? Prince Zed, of course it matters. We're to defeat the God of Destruction and have our happy ending together. <laughs> what? That zombie is your new prince? Honestly, you'll do anything to have your happy ending, won't you? Just how many men have you sacrificed? Hmm. If I remember correctly, she said Zed is number 666. Damn. That truly is cruel, no matter how you look at it. Surely no other princess is as bad an influence on children's television as this. We might need to change her name from Prism Princess to Prism Bitch. How can you do this to me? You're making me seem like some arrogant, self-centered egomaniac! Oh, you finally looked in a mirror, hmm? That's absolutely right. You are all those things. Also, everyone hates you. What? How could this be? Everyone hates me. I never knew. Could it be that I was the only one who didn't notice? <laughs> That's it. Fall deeper into despair, dear sister. Loves me? Loves me not? Loves me? Loves me not! No! They actually do hate me, don't they? Who cares if people hate you? I've been hated as long as I can remember just for being a zombie. I'd appreciate it if you didn't compare me to a zombie, thank you! I am the princess of this world! Don't fret, Melodia. You can easily sway public opinion with money. Not a chance! If I turned into you, people would hate me even more than they do now! Oh, such hurtful words! And I was only trying to comfort her. I understand where she's coming from. Not wanting to be hated and all. A hero's nothing without public adoration. Hero or not, nobody wants to be hated. They've been trying to keep up appearances for so long. I know exactly how she feels. All I've been doing is taking steps to secure my happy ending. What exactly about that is deserving of hatred? Maybe because the way you sought out your happiness was selfish and thoughtless. W well what am I supposed to do now? Take down the God of Destruction and get your happy ending. What else? So you're selfish and thoughtless. What the hell's wrong with that? Your world revolves around you. Who cares if they hate you? If you decide to do something, you better see it all the way through. Prince Zed? C come on! We're heading to take down the God of Destruction. Keep up or get left behind. Most people are weak. They fear being hated by others and worry too much about how they're perceived. But you truly don't fear anything, do you, Zed? You only continue to climb onward, concerned about nothing else. 
Your strength lies in your iron will. You started out as a weak zombie, but your will has kept you going through countless deaths, even after losing Biko. I am not mistaken in my judgment. You will surely be the one to defeat the God of Destruction. <sighs> What's wrong with you? Still upset? I always believed that if I, as princess, achieved my happy ending, then everyone else would get theirs, too. But it seems that isn't true. Apparently, it was always a one-woman show. This world was once brilliant and beautiful. Smiles sprung when I sang, and birds chirped when I whispered. Then, the god of destruction showed up and changed everything. Prince after prince met their end, and my songs fell on deaf ears. At some point, I ended up all alone, so I began to sing solely for my own happy ending. And here I thought you were just a selfish, arrogant, narcissistic, ungrateful snob. Yeah, a selfish, arrogant, narcissistic, ungrateful floozy, jumping from prince to prince. But you were really just lonely. Would you mind not rubbing salt in my wounds? I don't think I can sing when I'm feeling like this. <laughs> Who the hell are you singing for? Huh? Nothing you could sing right now could ever measure up to Biko. Biko? Yeah. She was always singing for someone other than herself. I just tripped over one of the gravestones, that's all. A anyway, here you go. The villagers gave your stuffed animal back. Thanks, Bubby. But don't get hurt for Biko anymore, okay? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'll sing a song to make Bubby feel better, okay? Biko. You really are such a good kid. Maybe you were an angel before you were a zombie. From now on, forever and ever, Bubby will protect you, Biko. Biko was always singing for someone else's sake. So who are you singing for? Uh, I... Day, dear sister. Have you fallen into the depths of despair yet? Tell me, Naive. Will the bad ending you desire truly bring everyone happiness? <laughs> Why, of course it will. If you attain your happy ending, the only one who gets to be happy is you. But if it's a bad ending, everyone will feel exactly the same. All will be equal. No! That just means everyone ends up unhappy! That won't save anyone! Oh, but that's where you're wrong! Those who have been unhappy from birth will be saved! Someone like me, for example, who has always lived in the shadows as a replacement for my sister. You... you were my replacement? Precisely, from birth and understudy. La la la, isn't life awfully cruddy? But you see, the mighty god of destruction opened my eyes. If everyone is unhappy, then everyone is equal. That's why I've decided to lead the world to a bad ending with the god of destruction. Everyone will live happily never after. That's nothing more than settling. I, for one, do not desire such happiness. <laughs> My, you truly are selfish, sister. That's precisely why we all hate you so much. Hmm. 
My, my, how selfish of you, sister. We're all trying so hard to reach our bad ending, but still you refuse. Don't you know everyone utterly despises you for that? You don't care about what happens to others. You only ever think of yourself. Who would fall for a princess like that? W well Can you not see that for everyone's sake, la la la, it's the bad ending in which you'll partake. She's just a twisted little child. But perhaps that's understandable, given her circumstances. <sighs> Cheer up, Prison Princess. Come on! Your happy ending awaits! I'm not going. I know you all hate me as well. Ugh, you really are a pain in the ass. Yes. In the end, I'm merely a selfish, thoughtless pain in the neck. And to top it all off, I'm also a liar. A liar? I don't love you, Zed. I was merely forcing the role of prince upon you for my happy ending. Uh, that's not exactly breaking news. Huh? It's truly amazing that you thought we weren't already aware of that. Huh? Then why are you staying by my side, Prince Ed? Uh, well... Do you like me? No, of course not! I'm just hanging around you so I can take down the God of Destruction. Duh. Quit your yapping and let's get going already, dammit! to be on the verge of despair, dear sister. Our bad ending shouldn't be far off. It won't be much longer before the God of Destruction arrives to destroy the world. <sighs> it's no good. She's shutting down. Prism Princess is in a pinch! We've got to re-energize her! Hmm. And in Melodia's case, the source of her energy is... Love, right? Zed, try saying you love her. That should get her back on her feet. Why the hell does it have to be me? Oh, there's no need to be coy. I know you aren't really against it. Y you've got to be kidding me. You got a Death Wish mustache? There's nothing to be embarrassed about. You've always been on the lowest rung of the ladder just for being a zombie. You must have felt at least a little moved by Melodia's advances, even if it was all just an act. It's only natural that you'd fall for her. After all, you don't have any experience with girls. Rest easy, Zed, and confess. Once you gain the power of love, you'll be able to take down the God of Destruction. Oh, how did things end up like this? Uh, whatever. If it's to take that thing down, then I'll do it. Hey, Melodia. Mm -hmm. I... Uh... Stop laughing! This is all your fault! <laughs> yes, yes, it's all my fault. But what of it? Weren't you the one who said there's nothing wrong with being selfish and that my world revolves around me? What a fool I've been! Why was I so concerned about something as pointless as what others thought about me? 
I am a princess. From here on out, la la la, I'll keep on twirling about. <laughs> so you found your song again, huh? That's right. I'm singing for my own sake. La la la, my belief in happy endings will not shake. Th that is a notion I must contend. La la la, in order for everyone to get their tragic end. Oh, my feelings have become so bright! La la la, thinking only of myself is a princess's right. Off my shoulders, a weight's been lifted! La la la, it seems my happy ending has been partially gifted. Oh, look! This world's energy is gathering around Melodia. Indeed, it appears that her latent abilities have been drawn out. Prism Princess has leveled up! Just like Prism King! All right, it's my turn next. Hey, Cerberus. It looks like she did it on her own. What happened to the power of love? Uh, beats me. Is that all you have to say? What about me? I'm the one who's supposed to get stronger. <laughs> My condolences. Sorry, Prince Zed. I'll keep this a secret from everyone, but what I obtained was most definitely the power of love. And I was only able to receive it because you were here. Oh, goodness. To think someone like me could be so moved by some zombie. Well... Perhaps a zombie prince isn't so bad in the end. <laughs> the way things are going, I'll be the only one with the bad ending. Tragedy calls, and I'll be fulfilled. La la la, after the god of destruction comes, everyone will be killed. Energy reading detected! It's the God of Destruction! Huh? Where is it? <laughs> Naive! I'll secure your unhappy ending this time for sure! Destroy everything, God of Destruction! We'll all meet our bad ending together! La la la, what fate could possibly be better? I shall prevent that disaster! La la la, and thus I'll get my happily ever after! Right, Prince Ed? Y yeah but we're not getting married, got it? The world revolves around me, right? Someday, you'll propose to me of your own free will. You'll see. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Ever. God of Destruction is in pain? If they can go head to head with the God of Destruction, there won't be a bad ending. Of course there won't. Be honest, even you want a happy ending instead of a bad one, don't you? W well No, because of you, I've always been forced to live in the shadows. The only thing that awaits me there is the promise of an unhappy ending! That's not true! 
Every girl deserves to become a princess, including you! M melodia Hey! When are you gonna shut your yaps? This fight ain't over yet! said or is it zombie mating season Sh shut up and get your head in the game something's happening to zed has the time finally come after countless deaths and rebirths zed's body has up that's right and neither will I I won't forsake my happy ending let's fight for it together Prince said a happy ending that might not be too bad but the way this story's going it's not gonna happen La la la, and that was my testimony! The end! Oh, Vico sang, did she? I would have quite liked to hear that. What? That's all you have to say after my grand romantic tale? That's just how he is. Also, don't call it a grand romantic tale. <laughs> Oh, Prince Zed, you're as bashful as ever. How positively adorable. That aside, Zed, your power level appears to be approaching the God of Destructions. How many times must I say it? You still haven't defeated the accursed thing. Get to the part where you avenge Biko already. I can't help but feel so... impatient. In that case, looks like I'm up next. Who the hell are you? Identify yourself at once! When the darkness of evil is on the rise, we crash the villainous party! Our seven lights spring to the task to save the world with courage and hope. With our powers combined, we are Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers! I am Prism Red, also known as Piori Nijino, and I'll testify on behalf of my trusted ally, Prism Zed! Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! On a luxury cruise liner out on the sea! La la la, Prince Zed and I fell in love regardless of the powers that be! Like hell that happened! A giant iceberg appeared before the ship, but the flames of our love melted it in no time at all! Hold it! What's with that flamethrower, then? Huh? Prince Zed, arms spread wide at the bow, bears the cross of love. Heart to port and head straight to our happy ending. Yeah! Knock it off! This is a cruise of fiction, dammit! It's totally a bad ending!
the wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. And now, it's my turn to power up! All right, I'll show you how justice finds its final form! Attention, everybody! It's time to start Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers, the movie! Return of Prism Red! Hmm, it appears her TV show has gotten the movie reboot treatment. TV show? Movie? What do you mean? Oh, right. This is your first time here. Peori actually hails from a world within a TV show. Look, what did you say? Does that mean the entire world is seeing what I look like right now? Don't worry. You're definitely going to be super popular with our audience, Prismagical. Even if she's actually a 10,000-year-old hag. <laughs> What a nightmare! TV show, movie, whatever. Just hurry and power up already. Roger! But what do I need to do in order to power up? Hmm, let's see. Put simply, I suppose you could say you need only to face yourself. Face myself? Yes. In my case, only when I confronted my selfish behavior did I regain the power within me. I faced my cowardly nature and how I wasn't able to do anything without money to become the hero king you see before you. People often avert their gazes from their emotional shortcomings, or they try to run from them. These two most likely awakened their new abilities because they mustered up the courage to face their weaknesses. Mustered up the courage to face their weaknesses, huh? Who gives a damn about how you do it? Just power up. Got it? Understood. And with the expanded movie budget, it'll be way flashier, too. I'll wipe out every evildoer. All right, let's get going, Prism Rangers movie cast. Episode 8, To See Justice Through. A driving while texting monster? What? A litter bug alien too? <gasps> and even the disrespect the elderly gang? Ugh, so many evildoers appeared while I was off serving justice elsewhere. Um, don't you think they're a little too petty to be considered evildoers, Peori? Of course not! It's little evils piling up that lead to secret organizations being founded! By taking care of the small things, we'll bring down the hammer of justice on these sad villains of modern society! Hey, you won't get stronger if you're always dealing with the small fries. No! We can't overlook even the smallest of evils! As proponents of justice, it just won't do! As a member of the Prism Rangers, I will see justice served! This is how things should be, right, Noboru? It's time for corporal punishment! In the name of justice! I won't forgive you for littering! Preemptive strikes lead to victory. I'll kick this suspicious fellow from behind! <laughs> Justice prevails! Hey, how long are you gonna be messing around? Just power up already! Don't rush me! Zed, I understand how you feel, but this isn't something you can force. I have to take down the God of Destruction as soon as I can. I don't have time to waste playing hero. Play? 
playing? Did you say we're playing, hero? I am not role-playing as a defender of justice. This is not some game! W what's wrong, Peori? Prince Ed's lack of grace is nothing new. True, true. It's best to just let it go in one ear and come right out the other. No! I can't stand by quietly after he called this playing hero! It appears he struck quite a nerve with Peori. And the absolute last one you'd ever want to at that. That's right! I became a Prism Ranger in order to preserve justice, and by doing so, carry out my brother's will. If I let you treat this like some game, I'd be letting him down. Brother? You have a brother, Peori? Yes. My brother was the previous Prism Red, Noboru Nijino. He fought for the sake of justice. And it's my fault he's dead. So, your brother was a Prism Ranger as well, Peori? Would you be willing to tell us what happened to him? As Prism Red, my brother was admired by everyone. Kids everywhere wanted to become a Prism Ranger because of him. He was a brother you were proud to call family, I see. Exactly. But tragedy struck on the day of the final episode. I was kidnapped by the secret evil organization, and my brother came to rescue me, defeating them one by one. The leader of the organization attempted to take everyone out by self-destructing. My brother suffered a fatal injury while shielding me. And just like that, he... So your brother met with a tragic ending. How awful. It was all because of me. It's my fault my brother died. That's why I have to see justice served. For the kids watching the show. And also for Noboru. Hmm. So that's the reason why you were always making such a fuss about justice. Yes. I've been desperate to defend justice, just like my brother tried to do. After intense training, I finally took the role of Prism Red, and did my best to carry on his legacy, fight after fight. Thanks to all my hard work, I was slowly starting to be accepted as the second Prism Red. But after repeated losses to the God of Destruction, our ratings plummeted, and the Prism Rangers were all but done for. That's when I met Zed, and he told me that winning was justice. It really shook me to my core. It totally reeled me in, and I actually thought, he's right. There can be no justice without victory. But to be honest, I'm still not sure what justice really is. <laughs> Lost sight of justice, Prism Red? You're that nameless underling from before! That's all in the past. You see, I have been reborn. Empowered by evil to teach kids right! We are Vile Villainy Super Squad Ruffian Rangers! Now get lost! Are you trying to take on the role of an entire Ranger Squad all by yourself? It's so sad. I don't need your pity. Because it hurts my feelings. Instead of worrying about me operating alone, why don't you worry about yourself? Your screen time's almost up. W what do you mean by that? The powers that be have already decided to cancel your show. What did you think would happen? Your squad lost to the God of Destruction, and then you, Prism Red, disappeared. Th this can't be happening. What will happen to the mantle of justice I was supposed to uphold? <laughs> You're actually worried about that? Aren't you the one who abandoned it in the first place? 
half-hearted hero like you needs to be beaten into the ground by the vile villainy Super Squad Ruffian Rangers! <sighs> You're not half bad for a traitor. Who are you calling a traitor? Seriously? You're the one who betrayed the hearts of all the good kids out there who looked up to your squad! No, I didn't! As a Prism Ranger, I never stopped pursuing justice! Are you sure about that? I'm not going to let you pretend you forgot what you did! First, you stole the Secret Evil Organization's ultimate weapon! <sighs> Second, you left the Secret Evil Organization intact without defeating it! That was because we were in a hurry! Third, you didn't even hesitate to use the ultimate weapon, even though it could have destroyed the world! And to top it all off, you launched it up your enemy's beehole. That's a tactic only the lowest of the low would use! Ugh! I just got swept up in the heat of the moment! You would do anything to win. Do you know how much you hurt the kids who looked up to you? You've changed. Well, he does have a point. Uh, I've let all the good boys and girls down. You've completely abandoned justice, and you still think you have the right to call yourself Prism Red? My actions were hurting all the kids watching the show. Zed, this is all because you taught her that victory is justice. You've been a bad, bad role model. Shut up! I only told her how the real world works. Justice doesn't mean jack unless you win. You can't protect anything if you lose. You fool! What part of that is justice? While strength is necessary to see justice through, you also need a great deal of compassion to protect the weak. A great deal of compassion, huh? Hmm, so in other words, there's no justice without power, but there is also no justice without compassion. My, my, Modeline. Despite that childish appearance of yours, you truly are a wise soul. No, <laughs> she hasn't experienced over 10,000 years of life for nothing. <laughs> I don't have time to sit here and let some granny tell me off. Well, I'd like to lecture you some more. It appears we have company. Hmm. They look like thugs employed by Ruffian Red. Perfect. This is my chance to prove that winning is justice. No justice without power. No justice without compassion. My brother was always fighting on someone else's behalf. He was always giving his all to protect others. He was stronger than anyone. But he was also very compassionate. On the other hand, I... I... Just what have I been doing this whole time? <sighs> Goodness! Piori, lift your spirits with a pirouette! La la la, come on and let us sing a duet! I'm sorry, Prism Princess. I failed as Prism Red. Prism Zed, I entrust the rebirth of the Prism Rangers to you. Knock it off, will ya? Don't just throw all that crap onto someone else. He's right. Did you not intend to see justice served as Prism Red because your brother could no longer do so? But he said the show was getting cancelled. Ruffian Red's got a point. I have no right to speak of justice. 
<laughs> it's still far too early to be giving up. Come, everyone. Lo and behold! Uh, huh? Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers, the movie! Prism Rangers versus Ruffian Rangers? No! <laughs> Changing the script is no trouble at all when you've got the power of money! Go forth, Prism Red! Vanquish the Ruffian Rangers! Your victory will ensure the Prism Rangers return! But that just means the Prism Rangers will use money and violence to return. There's no justice in that, is there? <sighs> Quit being so picky! You just have to win! Zed says things will be fine as long as we win, but... I think I need to find my own answer. What does justice mean to me? I was wondering who flipped the script on me! It was you guys, wasn't it? Ugh, I can't believe you're buying your way back! What a dirty trick! <laughs> Money is neither clean nor dirty! That is clearly the line of a villain! Though, it is befitting our hero king. Damn it! There's no way I can lose to evil doers like them! I was afraid of this. The way things are, justice is not on our side. I can't let my brother's legacy come to an end like this. Your brother? Oh, right! He was the previous Prism Red! Noboro Nadino! You've heard of my brother? Everyone has! That's how cool he was! Even I admired his sense of justice! But he died in the final episode to protect his sister. You can't serve justice if you die. What a dummy. Take that back. My brother risked his life for what he believed in. He taught me, and all the good kids watching at home, the importance of justice! And how did that turn out? I mean, you're a Prism Red now, right? You're a pale imitation of what he was. No doubt your big brother is looking down from where he is now and wondering how he ended up with a loser for a sister. That's... No. You're right. Don't listen to any of this garbage he's spewing. No matter what you've done, your brother would never think that. Uh, Zed? Listen to me. The only thing he'd be thinking about is how to help and protect his little sister. Wait! You've never met him! How do you know what he's thinking? Because... Because I also have a little sister! Hey, sir, B? What is it, Biko? Bobby's really amazing, you know? He does reek of death in a way that could be called amazing, I suppose. Nah, uh That's not why. Bobby's super strong! <laughs> that rotting waste of space. Strong. Yeah! Bobby's bad at fighting, but his heart is super strong! He won't lose to anyone. He's got strength of heart, hmm? Well, that is indeed what one might call true strength. He'd go through hell or high water for your sake, Biko. In that regard, he may just be the strongest in the universe. <laughs> That's right. Bobby's the best Bobby in the whole wide universe! Oh! I know I wasn't supposed to hear that, but... Biko is just... She's just way too cute. If only I were stronger. I need to become strong enough to protect her. How? How did I lose to Prism Red when she doesn't even have a proper sense of justice? P. 
Kiori probably has whatever sense of justice she got from her brother in her heart or something. She just got a little lost after getting whooped by the God of Destruction is all. Actually, I'm pretty sure you're the reason she got lost, Zed. Now, now, Cerberus. Prince Zed is finally saying something meaningful. Let's allow him to continue, shall we? Hey, Peori. Yes? Don't ever underestimate a big brother's love for his sister. Got it? It's bigger and deeper than any baby sister could understand. <sighs> really? Yeah, really. Hell, coming from me, the ultimate sister supremacist? It has to be true. So quit worrying and see your brother's sense of justice through to the end. Uh, all right. Piori, what is the meaning of justice? Justice is being a hero who's kinder and stronger than anyone, sir. The kind of hero my brother was. It's also important to stay an inspiration to the good little kids watching at home. That's right. Now that you finally get it, it's time for you to see it through. Sir, yes, sir! I, Piori Nijino, the second Prism Red, will now proceed to carry out justice! It appears she's finally discovered what justice means to her. <laughs> the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers are reborn! <laughs> Looks like you've regained your sense of justice, Prism Red! That's my greatest rival for you. I'm gonna have to bring my A-game from now on. I'm detecting the God of Destruction's energy signature. Prepare for combat, Prism Rangers! Prism Zed, Prism King, Prism Princess, Prismagical, and Prism Pup! Let's go! My, my. It seems we're officially part of the Prism Rangers movie cast now. Is it too late for a recast? <laughs> I find being a hero like this most satisfying. How many times must I say that I do not approve that name? It figures the boss battle at the climax of the film would be against the God of Destruction. Hey! Prism Red! I came running because I had a bad feeling! What the hell are you doing?! You already saved the show by beating me up! So why are you fighting the God of Destruction?! Why risk throwing it all away?! If you die like your brother, all of your character growth will be for nothing! That's not what matters. Sometimes you have to risk your life to protect what's important, even if it's a losing battle. It's because of Prism Red that I learned how to see justice through the eyes of a hero. That's why I... Why what?! That thing will destroy you, Prism Red! Listen, if I don't make it back, it'll be up to you to carry on my legacy. What? Me? You gave it your all to set me back on the right path. Ruffian Red, you are my greatest rival and my truest adversary. I understand. Don't go dying on me now, Prism Red! Send that thing flying, you hear me? You got it! <laughs> Friendship can bloom even on the battlefield! Isn't it lovely? Indeed! With such a turn of events, there's no doubt the ratings are going straight up! They really are skyrocketing! 10%, 30%, 50%! Excellent! 
the good children who empathize with Peori's growth must be sending along their encouragement. Ratings have hit 90%, 100%, 1,000%, 10,000%! Hold on a second. 10,000%? Does anyone here even know how ratings work? Everyone's hopes and dreams, combined with the ratings, are giving me unlimited power! Are you watching, Naboru? Prism Red Super Ultimate! Transformation! You finally powered up, huh? Man, it only took you a whole feature film. Thank you, Prism Z. Because of you, I can live up to my brother's legacy as Prism Red. It's not that big a deal. Damn, why am I wasting time on this savvy crap? <laughs> Prince Zed is blushing! How positively adorable! Shut up! Peori's stronger now, so let's hurry up and take down the God of Destruction. You've changed, Zed. The old you would have just kept your eyes on defeating the God of Destruction. All others be damned. But ever since you met everyone, your heart has begun to realign. Was this instigated by Super Reincarnation? Or is it merely a twist of fate? Looks like you have it on the ropes. Zed, can you finish it? Damn right I can. Like hell I'd give up after making it this far. Prince Zed, are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. This is nothing. Stop being reckless. Your body is clearly nearing its limits. The power you've obtained through repeated reincarnations is tearing you apart from the inside. If you keep fighting like this, you'll fall to pieces, and if worst comes to worst, you'll be gone for good. Shut your yap! I'm a zombie, damn it! Falling to pieces is what we do! Your determination is strong, and that, Zed, is why I set my sights on you in the first place. You don't have to tell me that! I'll... Ugh. Prince Zed! Uh, my body's not listening to me! Worn out piece of junk! Like hell I'll lose! Damn it! I'm so close! Just one step away! Damn it! And that's how Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers The Movie Return of Prism Red Ends. A sequel's already been greenlit and is scheduled to release next year. Be sure to see it, everyone! Hey, what the hell are you throwing in an ad for? I see. While you lost once more, you were only one step away. Will the next time finally be it? <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to believe me. N nonsense! Your story still cannot be trusted. Now. Continue your explanation. 
My, my! It seems Overlord Ivar here can't help but be curious about what happens next. Speak! How did you defeat the God of Destruction? It would seem that it's my turn to tell the story. Uh, it truly is a nightmare, appearing in front of such a large assembly looking like this. Prepare to hear a tale of tragedy. One so horrific, you will rue your ears for having listened. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. Evil space monsters attacked, and it was up to Piori Nijino to transform into an enormous hero and fight them off. Dwatch! This planet is protected by Pristraman! Fight on, Pristraman! Who cares about all the innocent civilians you're stomping on? Ha ha ha! Look at these pathetic! Humans, it's time to conquer. Wait, that's not right. Hurry, Pristra man, your instant ramen is almost ready. <sighs> I can't let the noodles get all soggy. My precious, richly thick, lingering sauce would turn it into the mushiest of messes. Will Pristra man be able to save her precious instant noodles? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. So close! Just a little longer and we would have won. Damn it. If only this piece of junk body of mine worked. Don't let it get you down, Prince Ed. We can still rise above! La 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 with the power of love! I don't believe in that crap. Love story arc aside, we've definitely come a long way. We almost had it! Ah, yes, indeed. And let us not forget that we also have Super Reincarnation on our side. We will succeed someday. <sighs> I can't wait around for someday. Worry not, Zed. We have all grown stronger on this journey. The fact that Super Reincarnation has returned us to my world, the School of Magic, must mean it's my turn. Well, I don't want to wait too long. Hurry up and get stronger already. I fully intend to. However... Hmm... Something about this world feels... off. Episode 9. Tragedies Refrain. Super Reincarnation sends you on the most expedient path to accomplish your goal, regardless of time or dimension. Oh no! I won't make it at this rate! I've got a super duper dash! W wait, La Misra! You mustn't go to the testing site! If you take the test, you... Huh? Who are you people? I'm not quite sure what's going on, but you want us to stop this girl, yes? Then leave it to me! Hey there, little missy! Why don't you come join me for a while? I'll give you some spending money! Your Majesty, it sounds like you are about to commit a crime! No, wait a 
wait! That's not what I meant! This is bad! We have to stop La Misra! Are you intruders aware of the heinous act you're committing against a student of the Magimage School of Magic? Another me? Hmm. Well, this is your past, so it makes sense that there'd be two of you. Come, familiars! Repel these intruders! Don't let them lay a single finger on our students! Wait! Allow us to explain! It might be difficult to believe, but I am also Majuline, principal of the Maji Mage School of Magic! Ha! Poppycock! I, Majuline, witch of the abyss, would never be caught dead in such a shameless outfit. <laughs> uh, but you see, you kind of do end up doing that, so... Two Modulines? Ugh, I'm so confused. My rotten brain's about to pop! Familiars, I must be on my way to the testing site. I shall leave these miscreants to you. I don't have time for this. I have to hurry up and stop La Misra. Um, Majeline, what exactly is going to happen today? If there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it. As defenders of justice. That child, La Misra, used to be one of my students. Though she's a bit of a klutz, she is kind and earnest. The spitting image of the magical girls I admired as a child. She's abysmally bad at summoning spells, you see. And because of that, she was teased by her classmates. However, the Misra worked hard and never gave up. She often stayed after school, practicing her spells. Then, on the day of the test, La Misra cast a remarkable summoning spell. But... What happened? The dragon she summoned ate her. It was a terrible loss of life. Oh my, even you have tragic endings woven into the tapestry of your tale. Indeed. That's why we have to stop La Misra before that happens! Unfortunately, that isn't possible. One cannot change the past. Not even Super Reincarnation is that powerful. Are... are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies, fate won't change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. How can that be? What are you talking about, Prism Pup? Destiny is something to take by the hand! For justice, we can't give up! She's right! With our powers combined! La la la, fate can surely be untwined! Even the god of fate would come around with a sufficient bribe. <laughs> right. Surely we ought to be able to change fate if we all work together. Uh, all right. Let's do this. No matter what, we will save La Misra. That's the spirit. Who the hell would allow their future to be decided by something as dumb as fate? If you don't like your destiny, then tear it to shreds and make your own. Change destiny. Hmm. I too once believed that was possible. However, no matter how hard you try, destiny cannot be altered. That is precisely why. Oh, 
You intruders are awfully tenacious. Why are you still wandering around our campus? Well, it ends here. Our students have a very important test today. I won't let you go any further. That test is precisely the problem, you thick-headed old hag! Don't forget, that thick-headed old hag is your past self. Never mind that! Just hurry up and cancel the test already! Cancel the test? Don't be preposterous! There is no way I can possibly let all the hard work and effort of our students go to waste! While I wholeheartedly agree with your sentiment, just hurry up and cancel it already! There will be no cancellation! Ugh! To think that I used to be such an inflexible, stubborn old hag! If you proceed with the tests, something terrible is gonna happen to Lemisra! Lemisra? Oh, cut the malarkey already! Now, familiars, this time make sure you remove these intruders! <laughs> Won't even listen to yourself! You really are a stubborn old hag. That's right! I'm just a stubborn old hag! Happy now? My apologies, everyone. My past self is just too inflexible. Well, she definitely does seem to lack flexibility. It seems like it's all due to her love for her students. Yeah, Prismagical's an educator of justice, giving it her all for the sake of the children. No, I'm simply an insecure teacher, one only concerned about appearances. Since I was a child, I've either held back or overextended myself, trying to live up to the expectations of my stern parents. Getting into a top school Graduating as valedictorian and landing a prestigious career were all part of the plan for me. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to play with friends, find love, and live the life of a normal girl. However, I never stopped hiding my true self. I always pretended to be the perfect me, which got me this far. And that perfect me became the Witch of the Abyss. Principal Majoline of the Maji Mage School of Magic. However, it seemed as though Lemisra could see right through my facade. She told me to be more honest with myself, that I deserved a break from perfection. Hmm. Then, don't you think she'd be happy to see you the way you are now? Huh? Do you really think so? Well,. Why not? I mean, the current you is a hell of a lot more lively than the old you, you know? That's not true! Having to stay in this shameless magical girl form has been an utter nightmare! Really? Sure seems like you're having a blast to me. Hmm. Well... well... Last up is Le Misra. Yes, Principal! Le Misra, I know all too well how hard you've been working to overcome your previous failings with summoning spells. I can't go easy when it comes to grading, but don't worry. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll pass. Right. I won't let you down. I'll meet or exceed your expectations, Principal Moduline. What? You summoned a dragon for an elementary summoning exam? And a great dragon at that. Only advanced spells are capable of such a feat. <laughs> what do you think, ma'am? See, I was trying to surprise you and... Uh... Huh? 
You fool! There's no way a student of your grade could control such a high-level dragon. But I just wanted to live up to your expectations. Don't lose focus. The dragon is about to strike. Les Misra! Transform! Magical girl magnificent Majoline is on the scene! Twirl! Huh? Majoline? Oh, this transformation sequence is so mortifying! But La Misra's life is more important! You! Just who are you? Explanations can wait. I will save La Misra. Destiny be damned! We did it! The dragon has been defeated! Yes! We overcame fate and looked magnificent doing it as defenders of justice! La Misra, are you all right? Um... Are you... Miss Majoline? Well, yes. I became a magical girl and returned here from the future. You've gotten quite a bit younger, but you definitely seem to be Principal Majoline. That means you're me, and I'm... I'm you? This can't be true. I must be dreaming or something. Oh. But, Miss Rath, I'm truly, truly glad that you're all right. Thank you, ma'am. I can't believe you became a magical girl and came back from the future to save me. You're amazing. Perhaps, but I can't exactly serve as a proper role model for the students looking like this. Uh, that's not true. You look really cute, ma'am. Cute? You shouldn't go around teasing a 10,000-year-old woman, you know. <laughs> oh my, Modeline! Look how you're blushing! You're so adorable! <laughs> well, Cerberus, see? We tore that stupid fate a new one. No. It's impossible to change fate. Huh? What do you mean? Those who are destined to die cannot escape death, no matter what. The wheels of fate never stray. They simply continue turning without mercy nor hesitation. It's unfortunate, but nobody can defy destiny. the power of fate. Not even super reincarnation, potent as it is, can interfere with it. No! I wanted to save her this time. I was certain I could do it. But yet again, I was unable to prevent La Misera from suffering such a merciless death. I... I... Watch out! The dragon is about to attack us! So 
something's wrong with Modeline. Your Majesty Peori, we'll have to hold it off ourselves. Roger that. Leave it to me. All right. I'll show you the power of bribery. I'm so powerless. A hopeless fool who can't even protect what's truly important to her. How long are you gonna sulk there like that? Come on, get up and fight! Leave me be. I've lost my will to fight. So you're just gonna give up after only one or two failures? No matter how hard I try, the results won't change. If I cannot defy fate, I may as well just join La Misera in. Death? <laughs> yeah, dying would definitely be easier, huh? Tell me. Was it all just talk when you were going on and on about wanting to protect your precious students? <laughs> <laughs> you were expecting to change fate with so little resolve? Don't make me laugh. Silence! As if you could ever possibly understand how I feel! Yeah, you're right. I don't understand. I don't understand why someone would punk out and accept the unacceptable. And you know what? I don't want to. I absolutely refuse to give in. I'll get back up as many times as I need to, and keep fighting. After all, that's the only way I can ever save Biko! Save Biko? What are you talking about? I thought you said your sister was killed by the God of Destruction. Biko wasn't killed by the God of Destruction. Biko is the God of Destruction. Biko! It's me! It's Bubby! Don't you recognize me, Biko? How? How did she end up like this? Biko, you must be in so much pain. But just you wait. Bubby's gonna save you in a jiffy, got it? I save Biko. I'm so pathetic. No, I can't give up. I promised I'd protect her. I won't give up. I swear. In that case, you must seek power, Zed. Cerberus? In order for a weak zombie like you to defeat the strongest god of destruction, Super Reincarnation is your only option. Through Super Reincarnation, you will gain the power to achieve your desire, no matter how many times you die trying. However, it's a path of pure carnage. You'll have to endure tens of thousands of deaths. Are you willing to do that? I don't know what that all means, but if I can save Biko, I'll do it, no matter what it takes. I don't care what happens to me, so give me the power I need to save Biko from her suffering. As you wish. Biko is the god of destruction? I can hardly believe it! Poor Zed! Poor Biko! <laughs> Is there any way to turn Biko back? I'll spare no expense! Unfortunately, no. Once one has reached her state, they can do little else than unleash utter destruction till they die. Why is the god of 
destruction here? This is supposed to be the past. Hmm. Perhaps Zed and Biko's feelings resonated during the last super reincarnation, which brought it here and now. What? Oh, wait a minute! Zed and Biko's feelings. Does that mean that the God of Destruction, that Biko, is conscious of her actions? Correct. Though she's physically dead since her body was absorbed into the God of Destruction, Biko is still conscious. B but then that means... Yeah. Every time she went on a rampage, Biko, kind as she was, killed me. It's been tens of thousands of times. I can't think of anything that would cause her more suffering. So, I've got to stop Biko. Stop that thing, for her sake. Zed, I had no idea you were carrying around so much pain and sadness. And you're absolutely right. After hearing a story like that, I can't give up after only a few failures. You're telling me I need to keep fighting until I'm able to change fate, correct? My word. That's a rather tall order to give someone my age. But said, you do realize you're heading for a grisly death? <laughs> of course I do. Besides, the way I'm gonna kick it is already set in stone. All right, I've got my resolve back. I'll find a way to change the past and fate. Someday, I will save La Misera. So, transform! Magical girl, magnificent Magdalene is on the scene. Twirl! Whoa! I'm getting a stronger surge of magic power than ever before. Zed. Zed. Huh? You're that voice from before. Stop him. The only one who can stop him is you. Him? The only one I'm here to stop is Biko. And I don't need to be told to do that by anyone. Uh -huh. Zed? What's the matter? This is no time to be spacing out! Right! Biko, I'm gonna put an end to it this time. We... we can do it! We're fighting the God of Destruction to a standstill! We can win this! To be honest, even I'm rather surprised to see that we may actually defeat it. But if we do, Biko... That's right. If she really is the God of Destruction, we'll be taking her down too. That's not your problem. Just focus on beating it! Prince said, are you really okay with that? <sighs> Why are you hesitating, Zed? Wasn't putting Biko to rest what you truly desired? O of course it is! I'm gonna do it! Just you watch! Hesitated at the very last moment, didn't you, Zed? Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! 
it! Why did I hesitate? Why couldn't I lay Biko to rest? I could see that she was suffering. Is that all the resolve I've got? Why did I bother coming this far? Damn it! What was I thinking? Biko, I'm sorry. And thus, because we hesitated upon hearing Biko's voice, we fell to the God of Destruction. That concludes the testimony of Majoline, Witch of the Abyss. <laughs> to think that the God of Destruction's true identity was actually Biko all along. Why don't you just tear my heart out? She must have felt so much pain. She must have felt so much sorrow. I... I... Uh, are you crying again? Who wouldn't be brought to tears after hearing this? However, compared to how you must feel, Zed, this is no time for me to cry. Well, has this convinced you to believe us? <laughs> Why, I believed you all along. Zed? From the very beginning, the great Overlord Ivar could tell that you were no ordinary zombie. Oh, bullshit! Now, come, let us hear the conclusion of your story. Uh, of course, you did end up saving Biko, didn't you? Uh, I... Zed, I'm sure it would be too painful for you to tell the rest yourself. For the finale to our story, I shall be the one to testify. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. Good day to you all. We begin our tale at the forefront of education, where young girls learn how to become proper ladies. Miss Matopachi! Once again, you're mixing too many things together. Hey, Teach, am I really a bad apple? A rotten orange? No! You're a rotten zombie! Breaking news! A dump truck, perhaps caught in the throes of Teen Rebellion, has plowed through Class Z for no apparent reason. We are currently receiving reports of the disastrous aftermath. Teach, why'd you save me? Don't die on me! Teach! Uh, I won't die on you, kid. Uh, hold on! This really has become quite a mixed bag, hasn't it? The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. My, how awful! The air is stagnant and the smell is wretched! We've reincarnated into the worst world yet! Well, sorry my home doesn't meet your freshness standards. Oh, um... So that means this is where my new home will be! Huh? Why the hell would you think that? If I'm with my beloved prince, any place is as good as home! But everything's in such horrible shape. Is that because... Yeah. This is what happened when Biko became the god of destruction. Zed, you know it can't be coincidence Super Reincarnation brought you here. The final battle may be near. Don't hesitate this time. You must lay Biko to rest. Yeah, I know. Today is the day I'll kill Biko. Episode 10, The Final Battle. K. 
kill Biko? Is there no other way, Prince Zed? Melodia's right. Consider carefully, Zed. Biko is your sister. Yeah. She's more important to me than anything else. That's why I want to free her from her suffering myself. Prism Zed, forced to take the life of his beloved younger sister. What a cruel plot twist. Indeed. Let us try to find another solution. If this can be solved with money, I'll fund it all. Stop it. The kindness you're showing will only cause Zed more suffering. So you say. But what you're encouraging is far too heartless. Enough talk. I know you're there. Show yourselves. Who are they? Some of the townsfolk. They're probably here to get payback for Biko destroying their village. But... Please listen! It wasn't Biko who destroyed your village! It was Biko after she became the God of Destruction! Yori, that wasn't a very convincing argument. These punks used to pull all sorts of crap on me and Biko. No amount of talking will stop them. I can handle these morons on my own. I'll give them a taste of how they treated Biko. Let's see how they like it! Are you sure? You don't want to finish them off, Zed. Yeah. I haven't forgiven them for how they treated Biko. But if I don't hold back, I'll be trash, just like them. You've changed, Zed. Not so long ago, you would have finished them off with a sadistic laugh. Really? I don't think I've changed that much. But whatever. Cerberus... Were the villagers always this weak? They used to punch and kick me. They'd even tear off my arms. You've just become stronger, Zed. After so many reincarnations, you're nearly as strong as the God of Destruction. Some random villagers could never be a match for you as you are now. Huh, that right. I guess I have gotten stronger. Still, it's too little too late. Zed? Biko was a kind child, was she not? Yeah. Super Turbo Mega Ultra Kind. It's like the word was invented just to describe her. Then how did that kind sister of yours end up becoming a god of destruction? No clue. I still remember when it happened, though. That day, punks from the village were bullying Biko as usual. I rushed in to help her, but I didn't even get a punch in before they took me down. Biko was crying and screaming as they tore off my arms and broke my legs. I was just some ragdoll to them. Oh, what horrid people! Utterly unforgivable! I really didn't care. I was just happy Biko was okay. I decided to let them do whatever they wanted until they got bored. Same as always. That's when everything went wrong. Something weird happened to Biko, and she transformed into the God of Destruction. As soon as she did, she basically destroyed the village in no time. It's almost like she was finally unleashing all the anger she was holding inside. Was it rage over your mistreatment that drove her to transform? Hmm, I wonder if that really is the reason why. I find it difficult to believe that just a little anger could turn such a sweet girl into a god of destruction. This has the stench of evil doing all over it! I've heard rumors that some moronic overlord was trying to resurrect an ancient god of destruction. That's it! That overlord must be the culprit! 
Hmm, that does seem quite possible. Does it? If that's true, I guess I owe someone a million deaths. But... Saving Biko as soon as possible is way more important than figuring out who's to blame and why. I'll never be able to do that with my rotten brain. That's why I only tried to deal with the aftermath. I just wanted to save Biko. She's all alone, crying inside that god of destruction. That's right. You were only thinking of how to save your sister this whole time. If only we could find another way. Prince said, is defeating the God of Destruction really the only way to save Biko? This again? Damn, you don't let up, do you? But the way things are going, neither you nor Biko will have a happy ending. Yeah, I guess that's true. Can you really accept that, Prince Zed? Hell no! But... What else can I do? There was never going to be any damn happy ending for either of us! Of all the possible bad endings, putting Biko to rest is the best she can get. Uh, how about super reincarnating and preventing her from becoming the God of Destruction in the first place? You can't change destiny with that spell. Wasn't it proof enough when Marjoline failed to change the past? Uh, still! Maybe if we combine our strength, a miracle will happen! Impossible. Fate cannot change, and Biko cannot be returned. What about money? I'll gladly donate to the cause if it helps. The power of money, love, or even justice cannot divert the wheels of fate. How can you say that with such conviction? What do you know, dog? Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. The god of destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. So, you lost someone important to you too, huh, Prison Pup? What happened to your beloved? I killed her... with my own hands. Oh, that must have been painful for you. After that, I developed Super Reincarnation, and reincarnated countless times so I could change the past. It was almost enough to drive a person mad. I see. I can only imagine the tenacity that took. But despite all your efforts, the past remained unchanged. Correct. If it had, I wouldn't be sitting before you as this ragged creature. This is reality. Just let Zed face it already. The only way to save Biko is to kill her. The one who suffers the most from that truth is Zed. Sh shut up, damn it! Why the hell are you still flapping your yap, you stupid mutt? I won't hesitate anymore. You'll see. Prince said. We 
We've tried everything in the book, but Zed's body has already exceeded its limits. He started out as a weak little zombie, after all. Honestly, it's amazing that he's lasted as long as he has. The next fight against the God of Destruction will most likely be his last. He'll fall to pieces like I did. Th that just won't do! What will become of our happily ever after, Prince Zed? Worry not, Melodia. I'll use the power of money to transfer his consciousness into a robot for you. Great idea! Make it a super huge one! That way, the Prism Rangers will finally get the giant robot we need! <laughs> what a pain in the ass. You guys do whatever you want. Zed, we should rest before the final battle. Can you recommend anywhere nice? <laughs> There's nothing nice around here, and Biko's more important than... Zed's house is just up ahead. Why don't we go there? Cerberus! Now, now, Prince Zed. There's no harm in taking a little break. So this is where you grew up, Prince Zed. Which means this place shall be our own little love shack! Isn't that right, my darling? How did you make that jump? Mm. Ow. Damn it, you guys said you wanted me to rest. Don't make me yell like that. Oh, this picture here. Is this little Biko? Aw, super cute. Hey, keep your dirty hands off my stuff, damn it. My, look what I found in a certain someone's underwear drawer. Aw, super cute! Knock it off! You guys don't actually give a crap about getting any rest, do you? <laughs> Forgive them, Zed. They're trying their best to put your heart at ease however they can. I don't know about that. What is going on? You punks, here to get some payback for earlier? Whatever. If that's what you want, come and get it. Let's go, guys. This is it. Are you really sure about this, Prince Ed? Yeah. I just want things to come to an end. My body's already falling apart. I don't want to admit it, but I can't do this on my own. Wish I didn't have to ask, but please. I need your help. Please. Goodness. This is the first time I've ever seen Zed bow his head to anyone. And the first time we've ever heard him admit weakness. He must really be feeling the pressure. Don't worry, Prince Zed. We'd never leave you to suffer all alone. That's right! We'll share in our trials together! That's what true allies do! You guys... You've certainly made some excellent friends on this journey of yours, Zed. Friends, huh? I never thought I'd need him. All right. Let's go. Biko's waiting. Just a little longer. Wait for us, Biko. Bubby will put you to rest soon. I don't remember a thing about my old man or my ma. But thanks to Biko, I was happy. When Biko smiled, it would make me warm inside almost enough to make me feel like i had blood in my veins but now she's turned into something that can't even smile she can only destroy things no way that's okay biko 
I'll send you to Celestia. But I don't think I'll be able to join you there. Bubby's done a lot of bad stuff trying to get stronger. Sorry, Vico. It's been a long road. I'll put your heart to rest, Biko. Mysador. Hmm? What is it, Zed? It was pretty fun running around in your world. The power of money isn't so bad, you know? <laughs> of course it isn't. In the end, money still makes the world go round. Piori. Reporting in! I sure hope you can get seven people for your, uh, Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers someday. Me too. But you know what? I'm 100% sure our current lineup's the best. Marjoline? What's going on with you? What happened to old hack? Your appearance and reputation don't matter. You're a great teacher, and don't let anyone tell you different. Huh. What do you know, you cheeky little brat? Melodia. Prince Ed. Sorry. For not being able to give you your happy ending, I mean. Oh, never mind that. I am truly happy to have met you, Prince Ed. Yeah. Same here. Thanks, everyone. The God of Destruction's falling! You managed to overcome it with the power of your bonds! Biko, I won't let you die alone. When you die, Bubby will go with you. I can't let you suffer all by yourself. Thanks for fighting at my side, everybody. I only managed to save Biko because of you. I can put an end to everything now. Rest in peace, Biko. With this, it's all over! Zed! You're all right! Is she... Yeah... It's Biko. Sh she's back to normal! She'll have a happy ending after all! No. Her heart's not beating. Th that can't be! It's okay. Right, Biko. Now we can finally rest. Prince Ed! Prince Ed! Oh! That ends my testimony. That's how we defeated the God of Destruction. Biko was set free after I reincarnated tens of thousands of times. Hold on. You're acting as if nothing happened, but aren't you supposed to be dead? Uh, no. Can't you see I'm alive and well? I mean, 
as alive and well as a zombie can be. Hades to Betsy, that was so misleading! I thought you were gone for good! Uh, are you an idiot? How else would I be here? Ah, good point. <clears throat> Let's put that aside for now. What I really want to know is, what became of Biko? Right. She was finally able to rest in peace. No. The sage isn't so... Oh, the tragedy! Oh, poor Biko! Uh, what are you, the overlord of the crybabies or something? Just shut up already and listen to the rest! Huh? The rest? That wasn't the end? As if I'd just leave things at that. The reason I came here was to expose who it was that made Biko a god of destruction in the first place. What, what did you just say? Is that true? You've uncovered the identity of the fiend who did that to poor Biko? Yeah, and that stupid punk is among us. What did you just say? The person who forced my sister to become a god of destruction is here in this hall. <gasps> Unforgivable! Who is this monster? I'll beat them bloody with my own hands! You really want to know who it is? <laughs> the one who did that to Biko. Was you, Overlord Ivar? It was me! <laughs> uh. <laughs> you did well to see through my disguise, brat. Indeed, I... Psych! How dare you! I would never do something so horrible! Especially not to poor Biko! I most certainly am not the culprit! No. I'm sure you're more than a little interested in fighting a god of destruction. What other reason could you have had to create a facility beneath your castle to research them? Wh what? How did you know about that dog? Besides, there's actually a very complex set of circumstances surrounding the creation of that man. T stop it! I am not the culprit! How unsightly. Just admit your transgressions already. Overlord Ivar, you are sentenced to death for the crime of sacrificing Biko to create a god of destruction. His motive is still quite a mystery, but who cares about such trivial things? Members of the Darkest Assembly, we ask for your judgment. <laughs> I've already paid everyone off. The results will be clear as day. Execute! 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 No! Why am I being sentenced to death? Give it up, Overlord Ivar. You are fated to be executed. Hold on! Mr. Overlord's not the bad guy! Huh? You're... Biko! Two, the truth comes out. Episode one, Night of the Living Biko.
Uh, huh? What's going on? This doesn't make sense! I thought Biko died! What does it matter? Biko is alive right now! Such a revelation is worth more than the entire netherworld! Everyone, rejoice! We must prepare a banquet. Party! Party! Well, this is a happy ending worth celebrating! La la la, therefore I'll sing a song while jubilating! Hear, hear! Today's banquet is on me! Money is no object! Just send me the bill! I understand your feelings, but settle down. Shouldn't we focus on finding out how Biko is still alive? She's right! What's going on, Prism Zed? Didn't you say Biko's heart wasn't beating? <laughs> Did you seriously think a zombie's heart would be beating in the first place? Why, Zed? Why would you feel the need to deceive your comrades as well? Yes, how could you? You could have at least told me! Sorry. I couldn't let the real culprit figure out what I was up to. They're a tricky one to catch. That's why I wanted to confront them at the Darkest Assembly. Hey! How long are you gonna stay muzzled? You were by our side, scheming and using us the entire time! The one who did this to Biko was... Cerberus! It was you! The... the dog's the true mastermind behind everything? That can't possibly be true, can it? Hmm. Biko's still alive. You said we could only save her by killing her. She told me everything. You turned her into a god of destruction, didn't you? Why? Why the hell did you do it? Didn't Biko save your life? She trusted you so much, and still you did this to her? Why? Answer me now, Silverus! Hmm. You're going to give me the chance to explain myself? You're too soft-hearted, Zed. Making friends must have turned you back into the nice little zombie you used to be. But there's no way you'll be able to stop my plans like that. You turning tail on us, Cerberus! We're not done talking yet! Oh, I'm not fleeing from you. I simply need to finish the preparations for my plans. What the hell are you talking about? What plans? Even if I told you, you could never understand. Cut the crap, mutt! I'll just have to force the answers out of you! That group of weaklings didn't stand a chance against Zed and his allies. Cerberus? What the hell are you planning? Answer me! Why'd you do this to me and Biko? Bobby! Serbi must have a reason why! There's no way Serbi would do something so mean to us without one. Indeed. I do have my reasons. But again, there's no way any of you would understand. Especially you, Zed. You and that rotten brain of yours could never manage to comprehend it. Shut up! You'll have all the time to explain it after I beat the crap out of you! <laughs> That's right. Let your anger consume you, Zed. Despise me all you want. Show me your true power. My true power? What are you talking about? My plans have been thrown into disarray. But I suppose all existence has been in shambles for some time. What say we enjoy this performance of ours until the very end?
<laughs> no way in hell! Get back here, you damn mutt! Prism Pup was the real culprit? What a shocking twist! Indeed. To think, he served as our strategist, supporting us from world to world. Perhaps even all of that was somehow related to this plan he mentioned. I'm quite curious about his motives myself. Surely the circumstances must be quite complex. Who gives a damn about his plans or his motives? I'm going to rip him apart with my own two hands. But at least Biko's still alive. That's good, right? Indeed, our path to a happy ending is still clear. Uh, um, I'm sorry I couldn't make a proper introduction earlier. My name is Biko. Thank you for being Bubby's buddies. Oh, how polite. You're quite different from your older brother. I'm Majoline. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Hero King Mizador. If you ever need pocket change, I'll happily lend it to you. With crippling interest, of course. I'm Piora Nijino, a.k.a. Prism Red of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers. Welcome aboard, Prism Sis. I'm Princess Melodia, your future sister-in-law after our pending wedding. Hey, don't lie to her! Whoa! Bobby's getting married? No, no, I'm not! This is exactly why I didn't want Biko to meet you guys. <laughs> Bobby told me about all of you. Thank you all for helping me. Oh, she's so well behaved. I can hardly believe they're related. And also, thank you, Bubby. For saving me. No problem. But I'm really sorry I took so long, Biko. It's okay. I could see you the whole time, so I know you were trying your best. I love you, Bubby. Oh, Biko's the cutest! Duh. Anyway, we can't just sit around and shoot the breeze right now. Looks like this place isn't safe either. Oh, how uncouth! These two siblings are enjoying their long-awaited reunion! Biko, you don't have to fight, okay? Just go hide somewhere safe. B but You've already suffered enough for one lifetime. Bubby's going to protect you from now on, all right? Oh, okay. Goodness, what a mystery that Cerberus is. What is going on in that mind of his? What is that plan he kept droning on about? It won't matter what he's up to after I'm through with him. He made Biko suffer by turning her into a god of destruction, and made me suffer by trying to get me to kill her. I'm never, ever, ever going to forgive him for that! Bubby, what are you going to do after you find Serby? Hmm, let me think. I'll probably start by beating him up. Maybe tear him to shreds, make mincemeat out of him. Boil him, or skewer him? But, but, after that, you and Serby will make up, right? Make up? Ain't gonna happen. I could kill him 10,000 times and I still wouldn't forgive it. You're different now, Bubby. I can't help it. I went through a lot of crap getting stronger. I'm sorry, Bubby. You fought for me for so long. Oh, no. 
I didn't mean to say it's your fault. Don't worry, okay? <laughs> you have a real soft spot for Pico, Prince said. Shut up! Leave me alone! It would make me happy if Bubby and Servi could make up. After I changed, I was real sad and real hurt, but... I was really happy when me, Bobby, and Serby were living together. I hope the three of us can all go back home together someday. Damn it! They just keep coming! What the hell's going on? Cerberus is a spellcaster of the highest caliber. For the one who developed super reincarnation, this is child's play. Cerberus, that damn mud! Ugh. Ugh. Again? At a time like this? Prince Zed, you mustn't overexert yourself. That's right. Your repeated super reincarnations are tearing you apart. If you carry on like this, you'll kill yourself for good. <laughs> Bubby's gonna die? <laughs> no, Bubby! <laughs> You're so silly, Biko. Bubby's invincible. See? I'm perfectly fine. I'm detecting incoming enemy reinforcements! They just keep coming! I'm reading over 10,000 of them! Wh what did you just say? To 10,000? With numbers like that, I can't possibly bribe all of them at once. Damn it. If things are this bad, then I at least need to get Biko out of. <laughs> What's wrong, Zed? I thought you lived by the words, never give up. You! Mr. Overlord! Indeed! I am undefeated, peerless, and the center of the universe. I am the one and only Overlord Ivar! This isn't good. Don't get too close to him, Biko. His stupidity is contagious. Hey, Mr. Overlord! Are you here to help Bubby? Thank you! <laughs> I did not come here for Zed's sake. I am here to help you, Biko. Now, Zed, only the smallest of the small fries remain. Surely you can manage to handle that much weak as you are. <sighs> Nobody asked for your help. <laughs> if you wish, I, Overlord Ivar, am willing to join you and your comrades. <laughs> like hell I'd let you join us. I don't want my sister catching your stupidity. Hard-headed zombie! Now listen here! You may never have another chance to add me, Overlord Ivar, to your ranks. This is a limited time, unprecedented, once in a lifetime, two birds, one stone opportunity. Are you aware of that? My, my! It seems Overlord Ivar is absolutely desperate to join our little group! His heart must have been moved by Zed and Biko's tail. He has obviously become quite a fan. Mr. Overlord, please join us. I want you to help Bubby. B Biko! Oh, Biko! I shall gladly do whatever you ask. Clear a spot on your roster for Overlord Ivar! Woohoo! We did it! Prism Overlords entering the fray! We've got Prism Red, Prism Zed, Prism King, Prism Princess, Prism Magical, Prism Sis! And now that Prism Overlord is joining us, we've assembled all seven members of the Ultra Chroma Power Squad! 
<laughs> a true hero arrives fashionably late. Prism Overlord arriving just in time! Whoa! You're actually going along with it? But of course, allow me to explain. When I Prism Overlord Amir Biko, my motivation increases a hundredfold! Let's go, Prism Rangers! I'll show you just how powerful Prism Overlord is! <laughs> He's totally into this crap. Is he really an Overlord? Fantastic, Prism Overlord! I thought you were just some idiot, but you're actually really strong! <laughs> of course I am. I'm the strongest, most important, and most amazing overlord in the universe! Oh, you're so cool, Mr. Overlord! <laughs> you really think so? All right. I'll give it my all on behalf of Biko! Come at me, fools! What the hell is cool about this clown? You're starting to worry me, Biko. Hmm. Between his looks and his brain, perhaps the presence of one is enough to highlight the absence of the other. Even his outfit exudes extraordinary levels of idiocy. His lack of intelligence goes without saying. He's clearly an idiot, no doubt about it. Stop calling me an idiot! How incredibly rude! You should show me more respect! <laughs> oh! Are you having fun, Pico? Yeah! Bubby has really funny friends. I'm glad Bubby got to travel with such nice people. Yeah, and from now on, so do you. Really? <laughs> Pico's so happy! I thought... I'd never get to make friends again. I broke lots of stuff... and hurt lots of people. Pico wanted to just go away forever. Pico... Say no more. From now on, I, the wonderful Overlord Ivar, shall protect... That's my line, damn it! Just get out of here already! Forget about all that stuff, Biko. It wasn't your fault. You were a victim, too. But, but... Just forget about it, okay? Cerberus is the bad guy. It's all his fault. I don't know your reasons for doing all this, Cerberus. But I'm going to make you pay for hurting Biko. Ah. We finally found you, Cerberus! You're not getting away this time! Hmm? You think you've cornered me? The way I see it, things are all going according to plan. What?! Tell me one thing, Zed. How exactly did you manage to get Biko back? I told you over and over that there was no way to do that. And I believed you the whole time. I always thought the only option was to kill Biko. But that lady told me I could save Biko if I destroyed the God of Destruction's core thing. Wait a minute, who is this lady you speak of? Are you two-timing me, Princed? Stop butting in! You're just gonna make this more complicated! The lady I'm talking about is the Legendary Witch. A Legendary Witch? You met her, Zed? Yeah. I learned how to save Biko during the final battle. Thanks for fighting at my side, everybody. 
I only managed to save Biko because of you. I can put an end to everything now. Rest in peace, Biko. With this, it's all over! Zed. Zed. You again? What do you want? Zed, if I told you there was a way to return Biko to her previous form, what would you do? What? Seriously? I'd do anything. I knew you'd say that. I am the one known as the legendary witch, Reliza. The legendary witch? I can only remain in this world a little while longer. But before I go, please listen. I will tell you how to save your sister. In return, will you hear my request? No free favors, huh? Whatever. Just tell me what you want. Thank you, Zed. Please stop him. You're the only one who can. I see. So you met her. You must really want to stop me, Eliza. I was ready to kill Biko and then die myself. But at the last second, I learned how to save her without having to kill her. When Biko told me about your betrayal, I wanted to rip you to shreds. But if I did, then everyone would just blame her for being the god of destruction. I needed to make sure the truth was brought to light. So I thought really hard about what to do. I realized that if I called you out in front of everyone at the Darkest Assembly, they would see that Biko was just a victim. Hmm. And here I thought you broke into the place because you were convinced it was Ivar. But it seems that was just an excuse to get me into that packed hall. You did quite well. Considering how rotten your brain is, I'm impressed you were able to set me up at all. I had to think so hard steam was practically coming out of my ears. But it was worth it to help Biko. How audacious of you to drag the Darkest Assembly and myself into your little spat! Hey, Serby! Why'd you do this? Will you please tell me? My answer remains the same. Even if I did explain my reasons, none of you would understand. Stay back, Biko. Just leave this to us. There's no end to them! This is no ordinary summoning spell, is it? Oh, you can tell. I'd expect nothing less from the Witch of the Abyss. These are failures in my quest to create a god of destruction. I didn't want my efforts to go to waste, so I'm... Reusing them. I can't believe you. Just how rotten are you, Cerberus? You're one to talk. A zombie's really going to call me rotten? Now! Biko! Cerberus! I won't let you hurt her again, you bastard! You left me no choice. I need to get my plan back on track after you forced it off the rails. Serby, I know you really are a nice person. But something really sad happened to you, right? That's why you're doing this. Hush now, Biko. Don't make this any more difficult. Stop right there, Cerberus! Give Biko back, damn it! Rico's in danger! We must give chase, Zed! Duh! I don't need you to tell me that! 
Give it up, Cerberus! Buddy! Let her go! I'll kill you! I'll tear you to shreds! Oh, that killer instinct, that murderous rage. I knew you had it in you. Perfect! There's a dead end up ahead. We've cornered that wretch, Zed. Your evil deeds end now, Cerberus. What a shame. I really wanted Prism Pup to be our mascot forever. That was never in the cards. A god of destruction! What? How is this possible? Biko's right there! <laughs> Whoever said there was only one god of destruction? You mean to tell me you sacrificed someone else to create another one? Precisely. Curse fiend! I, Overlord Ivar, shall mete out your punishment! Cerberus, you... you stupid mutt! <sighs> Stop right there, Cerberus! I suppose a ragtag god of destruction can't defeat you, Lot. Enough already, you flea-bitten pile of crap! Let my sister go right now! Don't push yourself so hard, Zed. That garbage heap you call a body is falling apart. Shut up! As long as I kill you, I don't care what happens to me! What remarkable resolve. Oh, look at the time. I have preparations to make, so I'll be taking my leave. Stop! Where are you taking Biko? Why does it have to be her? If you need someone for your stupid plan, just use me! Now, now. Though it pains me to do this, Biko still has a vital role to play. I'll see you later, Zed. Give her back! Super reincarnation. Wait! Cerberus! Ah! That little mutt won't be forgiven for kidnapping Biko like this! He... He said super reincarnation, right? Indeed he did. Cerberus created the spell after all. It wouldn't surprise me if he could use it at will. Now that I think about it, hasn't Cerberus mentioned it before? Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. The God of Destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. That's right. Cerberus has far more expertise than our comrade Zed when it comes to super reincarnation. But doesn't anyone else think it's weird? He used it without getting stomped by a god of destruction first. <laughs> Did he resort to bribery? No. If I had to guess, I'd say that death is nothing but a trigger for super reincarnation. The most important component is having a will that can supersede death. Perhaps even space-time. I see. Prince Zed wanted to save Biko with all his heart, and that's why he was able to super-reincarnate. Ah, uh, I'm so 
jealous. If only someone would love me that much. All right. Things are looking grim. Come on. We need to hurry up and super reincarnate after him. Are you sure? If you do it again, won't you just fall apart? Don't worry about me. As long as Biko's happy, I don't need anything else. Prince said... Let's go! Super reincarn- Wait, 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 wait! This is my first time super reincarnating! I won't by any chance be left behind, will I? Oh, perish the thought! Shut up! Who gives a shit about you? Let's go! Super reincarnation! We did it! You succeeded, Prince Ed! Yeah. Wait for me, Biko. I'm coming. Previously on Disgaea 6. Super reincarnated Zed and company found themselves in a brand new world. The year was UC 6666. The human world defense force and planet Zed were locked in a fierce war. A space war? How utterly thrilling! Just who will my opponents be? Ha ha ha! The Red Peanut, aka Prism Red, aka Piori Nijino, reporting in! I'll work thrice as hard! <laughs> Let's see, shall we? Let's see what this Prism Red is capable of! Let's go! Prism Punch! <laughs> Not even my own father hit me before! For... Rico... <sighs> the wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus, a new story begins. Looks like we made it. Biko should be in this netherworld. <gasps> oh, thank the Overlord I managed to super reincarnate with everyone else. Oh, that must mean... Zed! Though you've constantly denied it, you have accepted me as a comrade! I haven't accepted you as anything! <laughs> it's no problem at all, you shy little rascal, you. More importantly, Prince Ed, how does your body feel? Are you in any pain? I have a headache, thanks to a certain stupid overlord. You mustn't push yourself too hard, and you needn't suffer in silence, understand? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Hang on, Biko. Bubby's coming to save you. Act 2. The Truth Comes Out. Episode 2. The Root of a Significant Amount of Evil. Poor Biko. She must be so frightened. We're coming for you. My, my! You truly are concerned for her, aren't you, your overlordship? Of course I am! Whenever I see that innocent child, I'm overcome with emotion! Oh? So does our little Marjoline evoke the same reaction? Do you truly believe that I, Overlord Ivar, have fallen so low that a 10,000-plus-year-old hag can stir my heart? Well, my apologies for being a hag, you detestable pervert lord! Pervert? I believe there's been a dreadful misunderstanding. You see, I 
actually had a younger sister around Biko's age as well. Much like Biko, she was truly a lovable little girl. Oh, I see. So that's the reason you're so concerned about Biko. <laughs> Never would have guessed you had a sister too. <laughs> so, why isn't she here with you? She died from an illness. What? It happened hundreds of years ago. It's just, from the moment I first heard of Biko, she reminded me of my younger sister. Because of that, I can't think of Biko as some stranger. So that's why. I don't know what to say. You need not say anything, Zed. Now, let us go save her. This world is crawling with enemies too, huh? Yeah, it just proves that Cerberus is definitely here somewhere. He called them failures in his quest to create a god of destruction. But just how many people did he experiment on? A staggering number of them from the look of it. I've no idea what his goal is, but he's completely obsessed. Zed, just who exactly is Cerberus? All I can say for certain is that he's no ordinary dog. Uh, he said something about being a super sage before he was a dog, but I thought he was just full of it. Did you just say super sage? Could he by any chance be Mishual? Mishual? D do you mean super sage Mishual? No, that's impossible! That little mutt! Although, that would explain how he managed to create a god of destruction. The hell are you talking about? If you got something to share, then spit it out already! Super Sage Mishual is a renowned first-rate spellcaster. Everyone who practices magic has heard of him. As unbelievable as Super Reincarnation is, it all makes sense if he was the one behind it. If he is involved in all of this, then there's something I should confess. Long ago, I allowed Super Sage Mishual to conduct research on Gods of Destruction deep beneath my castle. What? You're mixed up in this God of Destruction stuff too? Indeed. However, I, I never imagined it would ever come to this. Creating a god of destruction is pure evil! Shame on you, Prism Overlord! Miserable tempted me with the opportunity to fight a god of destruction, so naturally... I mean, come on! Who wouldn't want to face the strongest god of destruction? Ask any overlord! Just imagine, a super crazy battle, pew pew pew, between the super awesome Ivar and the biggest, baddest god of destruction! So, it actually does come back to this idiot. <laughs> Looks like execution's back on the table. But wait, I regret it! Once I learned that it required a sacrifice, I banished him before he could create one! Huh? Banished him? And you're sure that was before he made a god of destruction? Yes! And because of that, he indubitably bears a grudge against me. This must be his way of getting revenge. <laughs> I can't wait to fight a god of destruction! Oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> What is this? Hey, are you alright? My vassals, famed for their valiance, have been incapacitated. Just who is responsible for this? My, my. Hello, your overlordship. Welcome to my research facility. Mitchell, what happened here? Explain yourself! Well, I just happened to find some demons with sufficient magic power, so... 
I used them in my experiments. What? How dare you experiment on my precious underlings! Oh, what an odd complaint. You wanted to fight a god of destruction, did you not? Not at the expense of sacrificing my vassals! You would put the well-being of your vassals ahead of your own ambitions? Are you sure you're an overlord? If you wish to see proof of my power, allow me to demonstrate! So, Super Sage, whatever your title is, I'll show you what happens when you anger an Overlord! Oh, it appears the mighty Overlord Ivar isn't a complete idiot. Thanks to these generous facilities you've provided, it won't be much longer before my research bears fruit. I've already got my eye on a suitable subject. To show my appreciation, I'll allow you to fight it once it's done. Don't trifle with me! You'll pay a steep price for what you've done to my vassals! Has this body already reached its limits? It seems I've pushed myself too far. I'll allow you to keep that pitiful life of this mission. If you desire revenge, then sick a god of destruction on me. Or whatever else you wish. I, Overlord Ivar, shall neither run nor hide. I will defeat anything you send my way. <laughs> And thus, Super Sage Mishuel left my castle. Afterward, he had Biko transplant his brain into a new body, since his old one was nigh unusable after our bout. Or, at the very least, that is the most likely explanation. Okay. So basically, it totally is your fault! Oh, how could this be? Forgive me, Pico! So Overlord Ivar was involved in creating the God of Destruction. Who would have thought? You said it! Now the dark history between Prism Overlord and Prism Pup has been revealed. Just as I said. This is a revenge plot hatched entirely against me, my Mishuel. Everything from the creation of the God of Destruction up to this very moment has been a product of my mistakes. Zed, I'm truly, utterly sorry for dragging you and Pico into all of this. Not many are capable of openly admitting their faults. I'm quite impressed. It's all the more difficult should you be a king. This fellow may just be an upstanding overlord after all. <laughs> and here I thought overlords were the lowest pieces of trash out there, pushing around the little guys. Hmm? Did you say something? Nope. Just that you're an idiot. What? How dare you! Hey, we got company. Why don't you show us the true power of an overlord? <laughs> Very well. But don't blame me if it causes you to wet your pants. <laughs> I won't forgive anyone who dares to pick on little Biko. Overlord Punch! Overlord Kick! Now, Overlord Beam! My, someone's enjoying themselves. I'll make up for my mistakes if it kills me! An Overlord afflicted with overwhelming guilt? 
He's a strange one, all right. Hey, I love a good fight too, but if you run out of steam, I'll leave you behind. <laughs> Your concern is unnecessary. The magic power of an overlord knows no bounds! Who said I was worried about you? By the way, Zed, what do you intend to do once all of this is over? What's with you all of a sudden? I don't know. In that case, why don't you come to my castle? Biko was also invited, of course. No way, you creep! You're just trying to get to Biko! Nonsense! Believe me when I say that I have no ulterior motives. I merely wish to offer you a safe, luxurious life. It's the least I can do to make up for my mistakes. Someone as powerful as you would climb in rank almost instantly. In the future, you might even be the next Overlord. How did a sap like you become an Overlord? Anyway, not interested. I'm okay with just being a plain old zombie. Stop right there, Prism Rangers! <gasps> that voice! The vile villainy super squad Ruffian Rangers are here to rough you up! Ruffian Red? Is this where my former rival rushes to provide assistance when we need it? Sorry, but that's not why I'm here. <laughs> it's been a while, dear sister. Naive, what are you doing here? Lord Mishuel agreed that bringing a tragic ending to all was a wonderful idea. He praised me so. You might call us kindred spirits. And since you're in his way, I've come to get rid of you all. Hmph. So Mishuel has taken advantage of her warped heart, has he? Hey! Where's Biko? Hand her over right now! <laughs> Aw, she's already reincarnated elsewhere with Lord Mishuel. If only you'd arrived sooner. What? Still don't understand. This world is just a trap to wear you down. Nothing more, nothing less. Ruffian Red! Are you in on this too? Uh, I... I... Oh, not at all. He's being forced to do this in order to save the good children we've taken hostage. I'm sorry, Prism Red. I have to defeat you! To save the kids! Oh, that's low, even for you, Naive! You won't get away with this! Aw, you lost. Looks like the Ruffian Rangers got cancelled. What a sour ending. Hold on a second! What's going to happen to the good little boys and girls who were taken hostage? Go bye-bye, perhaps? Who cares? That's awful! Naive, where is your dignity as a princess? Did you sell it along with your soul? Please, just give me one more chance to save the kids! Ruffian Red... Very well. I suppose I'll give you another chance. I won't have my sister of all people questioning my dignity. What's wrong, Ruffian Red? Don't come near me! Red turned into a god of destruction! 
This is just great. Damn you, Cerberus! Getting straight into another battle would be perilous. We should retreat for now and reorganize. I can't believe Ruffian Red ended up becoming a god of destruction. He must have had one of those cores planted inside him, just like Biko did. Stupid Cerberus. I wonder what other preparations he has in store for us. Whatever they are, they can't be good. Mishuel's research is based on the DNA of a super-ancient Majin who almost destroyed all netherworlds in ages past. While it's unclear how that fool managed to obtain this Majin's DNA, that was supposedly the start of everything. So long as he possesses it, he'll most likely be able to create as many gods of destruction as he wishes. An ancient Majin? No wonder they look so ominous! It's quite likely this... Ruffian of Destruction is stronger than Biko was. Be careful now. That makes sense. The more powerful the sacrifice, the more powerful the God of Destruction, right? Screw it! Let's just kill him! No! Don't kill him! You can just take out the core and save him like you did for Biko! Ugh, fine. Oh my! You actually managed to defeat Ruffian of Destruction! I'm impressed. I suppose it's a bad ending for me today. <laughs> Wait right there, Naive! I refuse. I must consult Lord Misual regarding the next stage. La la la, I'll see you when you turn the page. <sighs> Ruffian Red! I'm so glad you're okay. Yeah, I guess I owe you guys a big one, huh? I'll make it up to you after I rescue all those hostages, I swear. Okay, it's a promise. And we have to rescue Biko. Come on, we're going after that stupid mutt. Prince said, wait, if you keep super reincarnating, you could end up dying forever. Do you have any idea how sad that would make Biko? Not to mention how sad it would make me. Let's search for another way to save your sister, please. She's right, you know. As someone who possesses the power of money, there must be some way I can contribute. No. We've already wasted enough time. Biko can't wait any longer. Agreed. The best we can do to help Zed is to save Biko as soon as possible. Besides, all of you know better than most that Zed won't stop, no matter how hard you try to make him. Oh? You're decently insightful for an idiot. Don't call me an idiot! I'm always decent and insightful. Fine, fine. If we're set on going, we must make haste. Time is money, after all. All right. Let's go, everyone. Super reincarnation! Uh, am I falling apart? Is this because of super reincarnation? No. Even if my body's torn to shreds, I will save Biko, no matter what. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. In a backwater town during the holiday season, young Zed and his beloved dog head to the cathedral during a blizzard. Beloved dog? What happened to wanting to kill me? 
Young Zed, upon gazing at the paintings he longed to see, was enraptured with a sudden calmness. Then he whispered, I have no more regrets. Oh, Cerberus, I'm so tired. That's okay. Go ahead and sleep. For all eternity! <laughs> I won't let you go, Cerberus. I'm dragging you down with me! Zed, you set me up? That's fine. Our true battle begins here. The wheels of reincarnation never stop. And thus, a new story begins. What a decrepit netherworld. It's so depressing. Oh, and the stench! For your information, this is Prince Zed and Biko's home. What? Are you telling me that Biko was raised in such a ramshackle environment? This is intolerable. I must prepare a world full of flowers for Biko immediately. Hey, dummy! Don't you think finding Biko is way more important right now? Oh, right. Anyway, why the hell would Cerberus come back here? Act 2. The Truth Comes Out. Episode 3. Dawn of the Biko. Hmm. There must be a reason why Mijuel went out of his way to come to Zed's home. <laughs> Can't imagine he could need anything from this dump. Dump? Are your memories of this world really so terrible? I have nothing but bad memories of this place. The stupid villagers used to pick on me and Biko all the time. What, what did you say? They picked on sweet little Biko! Every damn one of them shall be sentenced to death! Death, I say! Prism Overlord! As a defender of justice, I can't let you do that! <laughs> it appears we contrast like light and shadow, Prism Overlord. Perhaps you'd like to settle the matter. This is no time to be fooling around! The enemy is upon us! <sighs> Seriously? Whatever, let's just wipe the floor with... Uh. 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 Damn it. Again? Wh whatever is the matter, Prince said? Are you in pain? <sighs> it's nothing. I'm fine. Don't give us that, Zed. You're supposed to rely on your friends in times like these. That's right! After all, there are seven of us in the Prism Rangers! Ugh. How are you doing? Are you still in pain? I'm fine. Being here just brings back bad memories. That's understandable, Zed. But even so, you mustn't disparage your roots. Roots? This is just the place where I woke up a zombie. It doesn't have any sentimental value. Oh? This is news to me! Then where were you born, Prince Zed? Beats me. I don't have any memories from before I woke up. Huh? Then you and Biko... Yeah, we're not blood-related. Neither of us remember our parents. We were just two orphan zombies without money, power, or anything else. That's why those stupid villagers bullied us whenever they got the chance. The only place with happy memories was that little shack we built to protect us from the elements. We were just helping each other out zombie to zombie, but somewhere along the way... Biko started calling me Bubby, and before we knew it, we were family. Oh. 
I don't give a damn about blood. Biko's my little sister, no matter what anyone else says. I see. So the two of you supported one another. You both truly shared a difficult life. <laughs> Why are you crying? I just... I just... I can't help myself! <sighs> Seriously, how did you become an overlord? Go! Oh, caught up already, have you? Not bad. You have exceeded all of my expectations. Shut up, Cerberus! Let her go right now! Come now, where are your manners? Just think of this as a family reunion of sorts. Go to hell, you stupid mutt! <laughs> that mouth of yours is as foul as ever, I see. Shut it! I'll rip your tongue right out of your mouth! See if you can talk then! Bubby! Sir B, stop it! Families are supposed to get along! Hmm, that's what your beloved little sister says. But what say you, Zed? What Pico says goes. I'll get along with you just fine. After I kill you! A wonderful answer, truly, but unfortunately for you, I can't afford to die just yet. I'm detecting a high energy reading! A god of destruction is appearing! Just how many gods of destruction have you prepared for us, Super Sage Mijual? It's as if he found them on sale! Buy one, get a dozen free! Stop this madness, Mishuel! Release Biko at once! I'm the one you want! I'm the one you truly despise! Despise? You? Oh, <laughs> that couldn't be further from the truth. What? Uh, then... What is your objective? My objective? Why, it's the destruction of the entire universe, of course. You want to destroy the whole universe? But that includes you, too! Oh, I'm well aware. To be destroyed along with the universe is exactly what I want. He's purposely pursuing a tragic ending for himself. The hell's wrong with you, Cerberus? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with me. It's the universe that's wrong. What's the matter, Zed? Go ahead and show me your true strength. <laughs> you really do have a death wish, huh? Fine. Then I'll give you what you want. Stop it, Prince Zed! If you push yourself any further, you'll... Don't try to stop me. That stupid mutt has to pay. Cerberus betrayed me and Biko. Even though we thought of him as family. What's the matter, Zed? Why do you hesitate? Sir me! Please stop it! Hmm. Very well. It's about time I put an end to this. Biko into a god of destruction. 
destruction again! Rico! How could this happen? Biko turned back into a god of destruction! Damn it! Just hold on, Biko. I'm coming to save you. I'm making Bobby sad again. <laughs> I keep messing up. I keep hurting Bobby. I just want to help him. But I can't do anything. That roar sounds so sad. She's crying. Poor Biko. I'm coming, Biko. Don't worry. I'll wipe those... Back off! I'm coming, Biko. I'll wipe those tears from your face. <laughs> I'm not so sure it'll be that easy. <sighs> oh, it's Hero Yarmada! Don't worry, everyone! Our savior has arrived! My apologies, Your Majesty. That isn't why I'm here. <laughs> Do you really believe someone like him is capable of saving anyone? This scum fled from his responsibilities as a hero, lived off the king's fortune, and even tried to steal it for himself. While that may all be true, your Yarmata is not scum! I fully believe he'll be a hero again someday. Just as surely as a phoenix rises from its ashes! Your Majesty... Come now, there's no way someone who has fallen so low could ever climb back up again. I'll make better use of him. B better use? What are you going to do to me? Can this be? Hero Yarmada has become a Yarmada of destruction. Now there are two of them. It appears we're done for. <sighs> Fighting two gods of destruction is as tough as I predicted. This is the greatest pinch the Prism Rangers have seen in the entire series! Who cares how many there are? I have to protect Biko! It's okay, Bubby. Please, stop. Bubby's always getting hurt. And it's always Biko's fault. I want this to stop. I don't want Bubby to hurt anymore. If Beekle's why Bubby gets hurt, then maybe I should just go away. Don't give up! B Bubby? You can hear me, right, Biko? I'm sure you're blaming yourself right now. <laughs> don't be such a dummy. You didn't do anything wrong, so don't feel bad. I know you're worried about me. But Bubby will be just fine. I'm strong, you know. After all, I am your Bubby. Bubby! Just hold on, Biko. Bubby's gonna save you as soon as he can. 
Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hate to break it to you, but I won't be letting that happen. Go forth, gods of destruction. Devastate Zed and his allies. Impossible. Biko protected Zed even in her current form? Biko can fight too. Bobby tried really, really, really hard and got super strong. I'm Bobby's little sister, so I can get stronger too! Go! Bobby! How? Those who turn into gods of destruction aren't capable of reverting back on their own! This is impossible! Don't you understand, Mizuel? The familial bond between Zed and Biko has made the impossible... possible! That's right! Nothing's impossible with a bond like that on their side! And those bonds are formed through love! The power of love is immeasurable! In other words, little Biko's the best! I mean, that's what we're all saying, not just me, right? <laughs> oh, this is completely outside the realm of my calculations! <laughs> if you expect everything to go according to plan, you're in for quite a disappointment. Bah, fine! Yamada of Destruction, destroy everything! Bobby! Miko! Get lost, damn it! Biko, are you okay? Yeah. Don't worry, Bubby. Biko's gonna help you fight from now on. Y you are? But... I don't want to just watch Bubby protect me anymore. I want to help Bubby fight, too. Biko. Okay. I never thought we'd end up fighting together, Biko. You've gotten pretty strong, huh? Because Biko is Bobby's sister! <sighs> oh, have you come to your senses, Yarmada? What a wonderful relief! <sighs> I was supposed to be the hero, but the king saved me. It's all backwards. Your Majesty. I've been acting like the lowest of the low. Lower than a level one slime. The dog was right. I fled from my responsibilities as a hero and abused your kindness. From now on, I shall be known as Waste of Space Yarmada. That piece of scum who shamefully lives in secrecy. Enough, Yarmada. I believe that the man known as Hero Yarmada is merely in the midst of a much-needed constitutional. I am certain that once you have fully recovered from all of your traumas and injuries, you will return a greater man. Your Majesty, I... thank you. Cerberus! Ugh. Where'd that jerk run off to? I think Serby's looking for his grave, like he was when you got here. His grave? <laughs> Guess that means he's finally ready to die. Nuh-uh, Bobby. 
He said his old body is gonna be all better soon. What? I see. Super Sage Mishuel must be planning to use his own body to create the greatest god of destruction ever! There's no time to lose! After him! Do you recall, Zed, that the strength of the sacrifice determines the strength of the resulting god of destruction? Even Biko, who has practically zero power, was considered the strongest ever recorded. If Mishuel's body was sacrificed, then who could say what would happen? He was unmatched in both mind and magic. Eh, all we gotta do is kill him before that happens. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow that, for we must all have a tragic ending together. Naive! Are you here to stand in our way again? Of course! I shall pen the tragic end to this tale myself! I won't let you! As your older sister, I command you to stop this madness! Oh, what gives you the right to act like my sister? You didn't even know I existed! Damn it! It's getting way too easy to turn into a god of destruction! Naive, you said before that a tragic end together would bring happiness to all. But you don't look the least bit happy to me. You and I are two sides of the same coin. Don't you wish to have a happy ending of your own? It isn't easy to achieve a happy ending for everyone. Believing it's even possible may just be a dream. But isn't overcoming hardships and achieving our dreams exactly what we princesses do? Naive, let's find a happy ending together. Aww, I lost again. Looks like it's another sad ending for lonesome little me. <sighs> You're not alone. Like I said, we're two sides of the same coin. Uh-huh. It isn't like you to be so kind, dear sister. Could it be that the time you've spent with a certain someone has changed you? Don't look at me! Naive, won't you try finding a happy ending together with all of us? Absolutely not! That sounds too tragic, even for me. Naive! Oh, fine. I'll consider it. All right? <sighs> a useless idiot is still a useless idiot, even if they become a god of destruction. That voice. Cerberus! Cerberus! Pa! That is nothing more than the name Biko gave me. Behold, for I am Mizuel, the Super Sage! Who cares what you call yourself? I'm about to rip you to shreds! magic power. It's no wonder he was considered the legendary witch's equal. Strong, smart, and handsome. How unfair can things possibly get? After repeated super reincarnations, my battle with Ivar pushed my body beyond its limit. But now, it is restored. As you can see for yourself, You're right, Biko. 
I should stop with these silly games and get back to destroying the universe now. I'm not done with you. Get back here, you little... <laughs> that indomitable spirit is your greatest strength, but your body has reached its limits. How would you even stop me? Hold it! Where do you think you're going? Cerberus! What should we do, Zed? We certainly can't afford to let him escape like this. I won't. I don't care about the rest of the universe. But I can't lose Biko again. I'll find that stupid mud and tear him apart with my own two hands. You are planning to use Super Reincarnation again, are you, Prince Zed? Your body's already... Doesn't matter. Let's go! Super Reincarnation! I won't let you get away, Cerberus. You better be ready. Zombies like me are stubborn as hell. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! In this mysterious world of adventure, it's said that Overlord Ivar will grant the wish of he who gathers seven orbs. Please, give me the power to kill Cerberus! Very well, I shall grant your wish. Woohoo! I've become a Super Zedian! Eat this! This is for Pico! Oh, why me? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Said. I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Melodia. Bobby, are you and Melodia going to get married? N no, why would we? Aww, I just thought Bobby and Melodia looked nice together. My, you're such a sweet girl, Pico. La 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 to our happy ending we go! Yay! <laughs> I love happy endings! Everyone, look at that! Huh? Is that a statue of Mishuel? Hmm. This must be his world or something. Who's the lady by his side? His love interest, maybe? I've seen her before. She's the one who... I can only remain in this world a little while longer. But before I go, please listen. I will tell you how to save your sister. My, I never imagined the legendary witch and the Super Sage were connected. Hmm... Do you think this is Super Reincarnation's doing, or is it another one of Mishuel's traps? Who cares? I'm just here to tear Cerberus to pieces. Bobby... Act 2. The Truth Comes Out. Episode 4. Reincarnation's Crossing. Prism Red reporting. I just finished surveying the surrounding area. And? What did you find? Apparently, everyone in this world sees Super Sage Mijual as some sort of hero. 
Nana's lady friends supposedly restored this barren land, saving the people here from starvation. That guy saved these people? Nah, I don't buy it. Maybe we've been brought to Super Sage Mizuel's world before he uh, lost his way. Another super reincarnation into the past? That does seem to be a real possibility. This is Serbi's past? Something really sad must have happened here. None of that matters! I don't know what the hell happened, but nothing's gonna make up for him hurting Biko. I'll never forgive him. Agreed! I, too, shan't forgive him. Bubby? Mr. Overlord? I know you're getting mad for Biko. But I still want to go back home with Bubby and Serby, so we can be a family again. Biko... <laughs> that rapscallion shall pay for trampling on this little angel's feelings! What is going on? Is it another god of destruction? No, I'm detecting multiple energy signals. It's a group of demons! I can feel their malevolence. Don't let your guard down, any of you! <sighs> what was up with those demons? Those wicked demons were trying to take the city. <sighs> oh, you're the lady from the statue! Hey! Where the hell is Cerberus? Spit it out already! Hmm? Cerberus? I believe he may be known as Mizual here. Oh? Are you friends of his? <laughs> Who the hell would be friends with a guy like that? Pardon me for the late introduction. I am Reliza. Thank you very much for saving our city. Unfortunately, Mizuel is away at the moment. More of those demons will likely take advantage of his absence to attack. It isn't safe here. You must flee while you can. Nah. I think I'm gonna stick around and see what happens. Bubby? Are you curious about Serby? No, it's not that. I just want to know why he'd betray you and me like that, Biko. <laughs> Isn't that an admission of curiosity? Sh shut up already! Aha! Uh -huh. I knew you and Mizuel were love interests! <laughs> yes. We've traveled together for a long time, seeking to master the magical arts. We were only passing by this land, but after bringing life back to it, we ended up staying longer than intended. At some point, we began thinking of this peaceful place as home. Uh, um, I hate to interrupt your tale, but would you mind telling me about this magical wand of transformation? Oh my! I made that for the children of the city. How did you come to possess it? <sighs> How do you undo the transformation? Please, tell me! I'm terribly sorry, but this was a failed creation. Once used, it's impossible to restore your former appearance. Therefore, I sealed it away in a safe location and even included a warning, just in case. <sighs> that can't be! This was my only hope! Who cares about that? Anyway... I care! So, anyway, why is this place being attacked? What's going on here? Ah, uh, yes. This peaceful place changed when an ancient ruin was unearthed. 
The DNA of a Majin who is said to have almost destroyed the entire universe was discovered within. Majin DNA? Rumors spread like wildfire, which drew the attention of the seven demon lords who seek to rule all netherworlds. Aware of the danger, Mijuel set off on his own in order to find a way to prevent the DNA from being used. Speaking of which, isn't that the catalyst for creating a god of destruction? How awful! That means this is where it all began! Oh no! More demons are attacking! Bobby? I hear you. We just need to protect this lady. Let's go! Thank you very much, everyone. With Mijuel away, I never would have managed to defend this place on my own. Then why haven't you run away? Huh? If you stay here, you'll die. Just hurry up and go! I can't do that. You see, a great number of people who live here depend on me. Not only that, but the whole universe will be in danger if the Majin's DNA falls into the hands of those demons. You care more about other people's lives than your own? <laughs> You're one weird lady. But maybe that's precisely why Cerberus fell in love with her! Love? The power of love? What good is that? Oh, don't you know? The power of love is invincible! If that were true, we'd all have it easy. I don't need love to beat the God of Destruction. I need power. While it may not make you invincible, the power of love is great. You just don't know what love is yet. I once... Uh, shove it! I'm not interested in your stupid puppy love! Unfortunately, that isn't possible. One cannot change the past. Not even super reincarnation is that powerful. Are... are you certain of that? I am. I've seen the results with my own eyes. While you can relive your life, you can't alter destiny itself. Even if you wish to undo past tragedies. Fate won't change. You'll simply relive those tragedies over and over again. Long ago, a man repeatedly super reincarnated to save his beloved, who had become a god of destruction. He fought until his body fell to pieces. In the end, he could neither change her fate nor undo her transformation. The God of Destruction must be killed. That man who lost everything and was reduced to a dog was forced to accept that truth. If we piece together all the things he has said, it isn't difficult to guess how this is going to turn out. Visual Super reincarnated countless times in order to change Realizer's fate. However, he came to the conclusion that he could not alter the course of the past, nor fate, and fell to despair. As a result, he decided to use the God of Destruction to destroy the entire universe. Poor Servi. But if we manage to save Reliza here, we might be able to stop Prism Pop. Is it possible to do so? After countless attempts, not even a mage of Mijuel's caliber could achieve that. It surely won't be a simple task, but we can't afford to give up. That's what I've been saying. I'm sick of all this fake crap. I don't care if she is Cerberus's girlfriend. If this is what it comes down to, we're just gonna have to change fate ourselves. I can't.
can't believe Mizuel would one day seek to destroy the entire universe. Well, believe it. He's caused me and my sister a buttload of suffering. Bobby! Don't be so mean! It's not her fault! Uh, well, yeah, maybe not, but... I'm sorry you two were dragged into this dreadful vortex of reincarnation. Don't worry, we're the Prism Rangers! We'll protect you, and change your fate! You'll see! But even if I survive here and now, it won't change the fact that I died in the dimension you originated from. No matter how hard one tries, the past is immutable. But... Prism Rangers... However, if my death could somehow be prevented, it may be possible to save this miserable soul. Save my soul? Cerberus! Who exactly are all of you? And why do you want to save my soul? What the hell? Don't you recognize us? How could I? I've never even seen you before. Oh? What is this all about? I understand. This is the Mizuel who has been super reincarnating all alone after losing Reliza. What the hell are you talking about? It means that both Zed's and Mizuel's super reincarnation paths have crossed. Could this be mere coincidence? So you've come here, have you? Damnable slaves of greed and harbingers of death! Mishuel, are you from a timeline after I perish? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry, Mishuel. This is all my fault. No, I'm the one at fault. I couldn't protect you. But this time will be different. This time I will save you. Cerberus kept super reincarnating to save someone important to him just like I did. Me and my rotten brain kept charging forward. But he gave up and chose a different path. That idiot! Now I've gotta kick his ass twice! This is... surprising. That power of yours is unbelievable. Who... or what are you? Me. I'm just a zombie. You are no ordinary zombie. I can sense unfathomable magic power deep within you. C could it be? Are you a Majin? Huh? What the hell are you talking about? I'm just a plain old zombie. No, there's no mistaking it. This ominous aura. You must be the legendary Machin. The one who almost destroyed the entire universe in ancient times. Bubby? A Majin? Th that can't be true, Prince Zed. No. I, too, am surprised, but given all the research I've done on its DNA, I am absolutely certain. This is quite an unsettling revelation you have laid before us. I, too, suspected you were no ordinary zombie, but I never imagined you could be a Majin. Uh, Prism Zed's true identity is Prism Majin Zed? No fair! That sounds way cooler! <laughs> I could tell from the start. From the moment we met, I knew you were more than a mere zombie. Bullshit! You really are full of it. Who was the one that kept looking down on me for being just a zombie? All of you, please. You must lend me your strength. With your help, perhaps... We will be able to change fate. 
Please, you must bring salvation to Mijual's soul. Don't mess with me, damn it! Because of you guys, me and Biko. Come on, Bobby. We gotta help him. <sighs> Bobby, please. <sighs> um. Ah, that's quite a tale. So you've also been super reincarnating. Yeah, and it's all because we got caught up in your stupid plan. Whatever it is. I can't believe I sought such a resolution. My apologies. This is all because my heart was... too weak. Huh? Since when did you have manners? Well, we are talking to Mijual before he fell into despair. He was known to be an upstanding individual. <sighs> I still kind of want to tear him apart. But I guess this guy isn't the Cerberus we know. Mijual, what happens after this? Unable to fully withstand the demon's attacks, Reliza uses the Majin's DNA on herself to protect the city. Huh? But if she does that, then... Correct. Reliza becomes a god of destruction. <sighs> you would never hesitate to sacrifice yourself to protect the people. I suppose you're right. After annihilating the demonic forces, Reliza was unable to cease wreaking havoc. In order to stop her, I had no choice but to take her life. I became obsessed with saving her, which led me to develop super reincarnation. However, no matter how many times I super reincarnated, or what I did differently, it always ended the same. In that case, why not destroy the God of Destruction's core? That's how we were able to save Biko. I tried that too, but still I was unable to change Reliza's fate. No matter what I did or how many times I tried, it made no difference. Reliza is destined to die. That's the worst tragedy I've ever heard. We must turn this into a happy ending. Don't you agree, Prince Ed? <laughs> this jerk doesn't deserve a happy ending. Bobby! Okay, okay. I'll fight the demons when they show up, alright? Alright! Oh no! The demons have arrived! No! I'm detecting multiple high-energy signatures! They're all... Gods of Destruction! Th these are Gods of Destruction? Oh, this can't be. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Damn it! What the hell's going on here? This may be an unforeseen effect of Zed's super reincarnation path crossing with Mijuals. As the vortex of reincarnation becomes so twisted that it's trying to swallow us whole. Oh God of fate! Would you truly go this far to prevent us from changing her destiny? Screw this crap! I'll beat this God of fate into the ground too if I have to! His body has surpassed its limits. 
He is currently in the process of awakening as a margin. What? He'll succumb to a nigh uncontrollable urge to destroy. Nothing can be done. As an ancient margin, it's in his blood. If this continues, he'll fully transform. In other words, he'll become the true god of destruction. Bobby? A god of destruction? This can't be... Hmm. Cerberus most likely knew Zed was the ancient Majin, which is why he pushed him to super reincarnate. His plan was to awaken Zed's Majin blood over the course of his battles, therefore destroying the entire universe. His real target was Zed all along? He used Sweet Vico as bait so that Zed would awaken as a Majin! That foul, dastardly swine of a man! No freaking way! I won't let him get what he wants! I'm not gonna turn into some stupid Majin! No way in hell! What's this? Uh, we've already had our fill of Gods of Destruction. Thank you very much. What? How can this be? Oh, cursed God of Fate. It seems you wish to take Reliza from me no matter what. If you must take a life, take mine. Enough, Mizuha. I've been fated to die from the very beginning. Please, forget about me. You deserve to live a happy life. No, I refuse. How could I possibly live a happy life without you by my side? Oh yes, I completely understand how he feels. It's as if I'm watching my own love story with Prince Zed here. Quit daydreaming, you moron! This ain't the time! Oh, so you really are getting married, Bobby? L like hell I am! Reliza, no matter what happens, even if we aren't from the same dimension, I... I know. No matter how many times I'm reborn, I'll always love you. Hey! How long are you guys gonna drag this sappy scene out? Don't you dare give up without a fight! If that god of fate is getting in the way, just kill him! Watch and learn! I'll show you how to take fate into your own hands! <sighs> is it over? It seems so. Does this mean... We did it! Fate can be changed! That means I can save La Misera as well! Yeah! If our seven lights all come together as one, nothing is impossible for the Prism Rangers! <laughs> it would seem a ray of hope has begun to shine upon us! Thank you. All of you. I couldn't have done it alone. What are you going to do from now on? There is already a version of me in this timeline. He will go on to live happily with Reliza. Mishua. Worry not, Reliza. I couldn't be any happier. Knowing that you're alive is enough for me. My journey has finally come to an end. All that's left for me to do is live out the rest of my days in solitude. Be well, Reliza. I wish you nothing but happiness. Thank you, Mizua. Are you sure this is how you want to leave? I am. There's no need for two Mizuals in this timeline. If I stayed, it would only complicate things further. <laughs> you big softy. 
I'm sorry, Zed, but I have one last request of you before I go. <sighs> All right, I'm listening. What is it? I know I don't have any right to ask you this, but I want you to stop the other me. The one who did those awful things. <laughs> if you're talking about that jerk Cerberus, there's no need to ask. I was planning on putting him down anyway. I'm relieved to hear that. Thank you. And farewell. Thanks, Bobby. Why are you thanking me, Biko? Because you helped Serbi. Uh, I didn't really help him. I just thought that fate stuff was stupid. That's all. My Prince Zed, you may not be honest with your feelings, but you did look awfully dashing back there. Whatever. I didn't do it to impress you or anything. Ah, Bobby. So you two are getting married. N no, we're not. All right, that's enough. Let's super reincarnate so I can send that stupid Cerberus straight to hell. Ah! Ah! Zed, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Zed, if you keep pushing yourself like this, you will become a Majin. <sighs> Not gonna happen. I'll finish this way before I gotta worry about that. Let's go! Super Reincarnation! Cerberus, you really are an idiot. You should have just asked me and Biko for help when you first met us. You're always bottling stuff up inside, you damn moron. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world! The group came to an island nation. There, they found a giant robot fighting on the side of justice, Majinger Zed! Woohoo! The Ultra Chroma Power Squad Prism Rangers finally have a giant robot of their own! Bobby, I want to ride it too! All right, let's go! Majinger, go! Biko, on! This indomitable power will definitely protect Biko! Yeah! We're gonna save Serbi! The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus, a new story begins. This is my netherworld, is it not? Curse that Mishual, choosing this as the location for our final battle. All of the higher-ups are at the Darkest Assembly. If he takes over this world, he'll have no trouble destroying the universe. Bobby! This is bad. Zed could turn into a Majin at any moment. Don't be an idiot! I told you I'm not turning into some stupid Majin! Hmm... It seems our only choice is to finish this as quickly as we can. Indeed. In the meantime, we must do all we can to support Prince Zed. Right! Let's show everyone how well the Prism Rangers work together! Thanks, you guys. No matter what happens, I'll make sure you all make it out of this. Act 2. The Truth Comes Out. Episode 5. Unwavering Heart. Multiple energy signatures! 
signatures! It's an ambush! <laughs> Ganging up on us again, huh? Curses! That damnable Mishuel intends to force Zed's margin blood to take over no matter the cost. However, I, Overlord Ivar, shall not permit it! Hey, Mr. Overlord? Thanks for helping Bubby. <laughs> Actually, I'm not doing it for Zed's sake. This is purely for you, Biko. <laughs> you know what? I love Bubby. And I love you too, Mr. Overlord. <gasps> With Biko cheering me on, I'm invincible! Here I go! Ultimate, peerless, transcendent, perfectly invincible mode! <sighs> Don't push yourself, Zed. Leave the small fries to us. Hey, I've got a favor to ask you. Oh, a favor from me? What is it? Spit it out, no need to be shy. If I do turn into a Majin, and if I try to hurt Biko or anyone else, I want you to kill me. <gasps> what? I'd rather die than hurt anyone else. So if the time comes, I want you to completely annihilate me. To the point where I can't ever super reincarnate again. And afterwards, would you mind taking care of Biko? <laughs> What's this, Zed? How unusually pessimistic of you. What happened to that bravado you had when you claimed you'd never become a Majin, hmm? I was just faking it. I don't want Biko to worry. She's more important to me than anything. As long as she's happy, I don't care what happens to me. You fool! Ow! The hell was that for? That was for Biko. Do you honestly believe she could ever be happy if she lost you? Do you think she would want to be happy at the cost of your life? Well, I don't wish to see Biko cry. Therefore, I shall not allow you to be destroyed, even if it costs me my very life. You... You're right. I guess I was looking at it all wrong. I understand. I'll keep trying. I'll fight to pull through till the very end. That's the spirit. And that is precisely what makes you worthy of being my friend. <laughs> you really are a weird overlord. Cerberus! Hmm, still maintaining your sanity, I see. You sure are a tough nut to crack, Zed. I won't let you get your way. I'm not gonna turn into a Majin, damn it! Oh? Finally realized what you really are, have you? How did you figure it out? We went to your past, Serby. What? We met Reliza, but that's not all. We also met you, back when you were still trying to save her. And then we saved her together, and succeeded in changing her fate! Nonsense! It isn't possible for anyone to alter fate! You're wrong! We're living proof that people can take their destinies into their own hands! I... I don't believe you. I super reincarnated tens of thousands of times before my eyes were opened to the futility of it all! That's why I decided the only thing I could do was destroy this wretched universe! There's no other way. Mishual, you should know that 
The woman you loved wanted nothing more than for your soul to be saved. It isn't too late. Change your fate with us. Silence. Time and time again, I killed my own beloved with these very hands. I have passed the point of no return. Come, gods of destruction! Now attack Zed! It shouldn't take much more to cause him to become a margin. And when he does, he will become the true god of destruction. The whole universe will surely be destroyed. And thus, Zed of destruction shall be born. <sighs> you really are stubborn. How about this? Goodness! How many more gods of destruction will we be forced to fight? Oh, your majesty! How could you lose heart like this? Y your mother! Your majesty, thanks to what you did, I regained my senses. No longer will I remain a self-sequestered domicile defender! Hero Yarmada has returned. Yes, yes, excellent. That's my hero Yarmada. He's not the only one here to help. We are the Vile Villainy Super Squad Ruffian Rangers. Ruffian Red, you came to help us too? <laughs> I promised I'd make it up to you, didn't I? <laughs> so, the Vile Villainy Super Squad keeps its promises, huh? Well, yeah. I've got to set a good example for the boys and girls watching at home. Now leave these random encounters to us. Go defeat the final boss! Impossible. Not even I could have predicted that these worthless pawns would return at such a critical time. But my plans do not end here. The real fun is yet to come. <laughs> like hell on letting you get away! Stop right there, Cerberus! <sighs> Stupid Cerberus. Where the hell did he run off to? <laughs> If I didn't know any better, I'd say he's dragging things out, waiting for Zed to become a margin. Precisely. Cerberus! The Darkest Assembly has no shortage of test subjects. Ones I will happily use to mass-produce gods of destruction. Halt, Visual! Cease compounding your crimes at once! I'm afraid I will have to decline. You must be punished for your fraudulent claims of defying destiny. But it's true! Me, Bobby, and everyone did save Eliza! Lies! They're all lies! Come forth, gods of destruction! <laughs> Approaching your limits, Zed. This wretched universe stole Eliza from me. You ought to just destroy it all. Now hurry up and become a margin. Like you, dear sister. 
What kind of happy ending would that be? Naive! What are you doing here? I decided that singing the occasional duet with you wouldn't be terribly awful, so here I am. Naive! Or do you believe that an understudy such as myself doesn't deserve a happy ending? No, of course not! We're two sides of the same coin! You're a princess too! That is why, my dear Naive! La la la, in our happy ending you must believe! Thank you, sister. Let us find a happy end. La la la, while our sisterly bonds we mend! Miss Marjoline, I've come to help you! Lan Misra? What? How? <laughs> Surprise? You're the one who came back from the future to save me, ma'am! I see. Once this battle is safely concluded, I return to the past once more and save you, don't I? So, I was able to change your fate after all. That's right. I followed your example and practiced day and night! Leave this to us! Lies! Such nonsense can't possibly be true! Fate cannot be altered, ever! You're dead wrong. Anyone can change fate, as long as they have friends fighting at their side. I never imagined I'd hear such words from you, Zed. You really have changed. Anything can change. Even fate. Deep down, you know that too, don't you? No! I won't accept this! I can't allow myself to accept it! If you claim that fate can be changed, then show me! Change the fate of the universe! Prevent its destruction! <laughs> it seems your margin nature has finally begun to emerge. Good. Awaken, Zed. Awaken and destroy the entire universe! Stop, Biko! Don't come near me! What should I do? It's no good. I'm... I'm... Sorry, Ivar. It looks like this is it for me. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Before I turn into a Majin, please, kill me. Set. I already told you I won't put Biko through that. Even if it costs me my life, I will save you! Come now, Overlord Ivar. We can't have you hogging the spotlight now, can we? That's right. Let us gather our powers and suppress the Majin within him! With the powers of love, money, and justice combined, we'll create a rainbow-colored miracle! All right, everyone. Channel every bit of power you have into Melodia! Huh? Why me? Quit your dawdling! Act as our conduit and transfer our powers to Zed! Transfer? How am I supposed to do that? Oh! You gotta kiss him! What? I never imagined I'd have to take the lead in our relationship. Prince Zed was supposed to gather up his courage and propose to me beneath a romantic, starry sky! While our tender feelings left us shy, 
We'd share a light yet romantic kiss. That's how it was supposed to be! But, oh well. I'm the one who fell for him after all. It's all for our happy ending! All right, Melodia, you got this! we prevented him from turning into a Majin, at least. Is Bobby all better now? Uh, yeah. I feel kind of okay. But also... kind of not... <laughs> Bobby, you should do the right thing and marry Melodia, okay? Stop it, Biko! That's the last thing I want to think about right now. Oh, surely you understand that it's much too late for you to get away from me now! Maybe Cerberus isn't the biggest threat here after all. He managed to suppress his Majin blood. Inconceivable. Cerberus, I've stomped all your plans into the dirt. Give up already, damn it! Hmm. That's what you think. But fate has yet to change. What? Destroy, 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 destroy. Another me? <laughs> I was surprised you didn't succumb to your Majin nature, but it seems I still achieved my goal. Destroy, 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 destroy. What you see is the very manifestation of the ancient Majin that lay buried in the depths of your soul. The Zed of Destruction. This is a god of destruction? It's just a palette swap of me! You were a Majin from the beginning. Fundamentally different from those pseudo-gods of destruction I created. You look no different because you are Imagine, you are the god of destruction. This is what you betrayed me and Biko for? I never betrayed you. This was my plan from the very moment we met. Serby! But we had so much fun living together. The days I spent as a dog meant nothing to me. When you taught me magic? Or when we used to fall asleep together and go on walks together? I thought we were family. Well, you were wrong. Now let us put an end to this at last. Ordinary Zombie Zed versus Zed of Destruction. You do know how this battle will end, don't you? No. I don't know anything. Remember? I've got a rotten brain. God of destruction or not, he's just me. And I know I can tear myself to shreds! Unbelievable. Some run-of-the-mill zombie defeated the ancient Margin. This shouldn't even be possible! Do you truly believe so? Zed may have started out as an ordinary zombie. 
But he gained strength through countless super reincarnations. His unwavering heart overcame endless suffering and even more deaths. That's right. Zed's strength lies not in physical power, but in his unshakable heart. As his stalwart companion, wouldn't you know that better than anyone else, Mishua? I still have one more card to play. I will destroy the universe at any cost! One more card? That stupid mutt never knows when to give up, does he? Cerberus. So you've come, Zed. Enough already. Let's just put an end to this. I agree. Let's put an end to everything. from it is astronomical. Super Sage Mijuel has become a... a super god of destruction. Our happy ending lies on the other side of this victory, but it won't be easy. <laughs> I doubt we will be able to bribe this opponent into submission. No need to worry, Biko. That bubby of yours will surely prevail. After all, he is someone I, Overlord Ivar, have personally deemed worthy. <laughs> Cerberus, you got real ugly, you know. Honestly, you looked better as a flea-bitten mutt. But don't worry. I'm gonna put an end to your stupid life! Here I come, Cerberus! I'll beat the hell out of you and your worthless fake crap! Splendidly done. You even overcame the ace I had up my sleeve. There shouldn't have been any possibility of victory. You were destined to lose, and yet... Hmm. So fate truly can be changed. You finally get that through your thick skull? For a Super Sage, you really are super dumb. <laughs> so it seems. Clearly, I'm not as bright as I thought. I'm sorry, Zed. And to you as well, Biko. Oh, I was a fool. Zed, Biko, I see now that I should have simply asked for your help instead of manipulating you. Had I done so, perhaps I could have changed fate as well. You moron! Are you just realizing that now? Yes. It's taken me far too long for everything. My body fell to pieces once before, but this fight has rendered it beyond repair. This is farewell. <laughs> Realize that at long last we will finally reunite.
Hey, snap out of it. You're not done yet, dammit. <sighs> Am I still alive? Looks like it. Sandy! You're awake! Oh. <sighs> How? Biko saved you again. Now you owe her double. I see. You transplanted my brain back into that dog before my body vanished. I never asked for this. Quit your whining. Come on, let's go. Where is there left to go? Isn't it obvious? To the past, duh. Why the hell are you giving up so easily? Don't you want to save your girlfriend? Then super reincarnate until you save her. Change her fate. You won't be alone this time. I'll be there with you. Biko too! Zed. Biko. Thank you. Enough crying, dammit! Quit wasting time! Let's go, Cerberus. Oh, your overlordship! You know where Prince Zed is, don't you? Now spit it out! Now that we've reached a happy ending, he has to take responsibility as my prince and marry me! We've been getting a lot of letters asking when Prism Zed is coming back to the show! He's got to appear soon! What if the show gets cancelled again? No, oh, no! I have plans for Zed to come to my kingdom to be a hero instructor! I will bribe him if need be! I'll offer as much money as he needs! <laughs> Hold it! I plan to bring Zed on as an instructor at the Maji Mage School of Magic! His brain may be rotten, through and through, but he's the perfect person to teach our students perseverance. Come now, everyone, calm down. Why don't we allow them to spend a little family time together? They're busy reforging their lost bonds, as well as making up for lost time. Your overlordship, did you do something for them? Oh, not really. I merely gave them a little reward for saving my netherworld. And the entire universe. A reward? 